The Dragon Ball manga series features an ensemble cast of characters created by Akira Toriyama. The series takes place in a fictional universe, the same world as Toriyama's previous series Dr. Slump, and follows the adventures of son Goku during his boyhood years as he trains in martial arts and explores a fantastical version of planet Earth in search of the seven orbs known as the Dragon Balls that are used to summon a wish-granting dragon. The tone of the series becomes more action-oriented and less comedic when Goku reaches adulthood, as he and his allies would find themselves defending Earth against various threats, overcoming seemingly insurmountable opponents and eventually emerging victorious against progressively more powerful foes. During the course of the story, Goku encounters allies such as Bulma, Kame Senen, and Trunks, rivals such as Tenshinhan, Piccolo, and Vegeta, and villains such as Frieza, Cell and Majin Buu. Goku's group of associates, known as the Dragon Team, Doraganchi Mu Doraganchi Mu ch. 165, bolster its ranks throughout the series with the addition of former enemies and new heroes. The group is also known in Japanese as the Z Fighters Z Zanshi, Zeto Senshi or Team Z in other media, and in the English dub of Dragon Ball Z as the Earth's special forces, while many of the characters are humans with superhuman strength and or supernatural abilities, the cast also includes anthropomorphic animals, extraterrestrial life forms, and even deities who govern the world and the universe. The series also includes depictions of the afterlife and time travel as a means of creating historical divergences. Dragon Ball Super in particular expanded the setting of the series to include parallel universes. Universe 7, or the seventh universe in the English dub, is designated as the universe where the vast majority of the Dragon Ball series takes place. The manga's anime and film adaptations feature some original characters not created by Toriyama but by Toei Animation staff. Toriyama personally designed certain characters which made their debut appearances in the animated films, such as Slug, Cooler, Android 13, Brawly, Bojack, and Tapian. Toriyama has also designed characters which are created exclusively for Dragon Ball video games like Android 21, Mira and TOWA. Topic. Creation and conception Akira Toriyama initially based most of the characters on those of the Chinese novel Journey to the West, Goku being Sun Wukong, Bulma as Tang Sanzang, Oolong as Zhu Baji and Yamcha being Sha Wujing, and redeveloped one of his earlier one-shot manga series, Dragon Boy. To be creative with the character, Toriyama stated in 1995 that he designed Goku not as a monkey like the Journey to the West character, but as a human-looking boy with a monkey's tail to give him a distinguishing feature. However, in 2003 he elaborated saying he added the tail because his editor told him without it Goku had no distinguishing features, while this was probably a joke, he went ahead and did it. Toriyama later stated that the tail was a pain to draw, hence why he had it get cut off early on, and that he never thought of making Goku an alien until Vegeta appeared. Martial arts tournaments, as well as additional characters such as Kuririn and Namu, Namu a yogi-inspired recurring tournament competitor, were eventually added to give the series a greater emphasis on fighting and martial arts. Knowing readers would expect Goku to win the tournaments, Toriyama had him lose the first two while continuing to plan an eventual victory. When having fights in the manga, he had the characters go to a place where nobody lived to avoid difficulties in drawing destroyed buildings. In order to advance the story quickly, he introduced Goku's signature flying Nimbus Cloud, then gave most fighters the ability to fly, and later granted Goku teleportation, going against the normal convention that the strongest characters should be the largest in terms of physical size. He designed many of Dragon Ball's most powerful characters with small statures. He later explained that he had Goku grow up as a means to make drawing fight scenes easier, even though his editor was initially against it because it was rare to have the main character of a manga series change drastically. The reason there are many anthropomorphic characters is simply that he finds it easier to make them look different if they are animals rather than humans. For the female characters, Toriyama created women he deemed beautiful and sexy, but also strong. He did however state that he has trouble drawing females and this is the reason there are few women characters in the Dragon Ball series. During the second half of the series, Toriyama placed less emphasis on the imagery, simplifying the lines and sometimes making things too square, found problems determining the colors, and sometimes altered them mid-story. Many of Dragon Ball's characters have names that are puns, and which match those of characters related to them. 
For example, Bulma and her family are named after undergarments, Saiyans are named after vegetables, and because Frieza is a pun on freezer, the Ginyu Force are named after products that one keeps in a refrigerator. Toriyama explained that he does not like giving names to techniques, but did so at his editor's opinion. His wife was the one who named the series signature Kamehameha, Kamehame Bo lit, Kamehame Wave, but he named all the others, even selecting them specifically for each character, saying someone like Vegeta would use names in English, and using kanji for the more sophisticated Piccolo. Toriyama came up with the Red Ribbon Army, particularly its muscle tower, from the video game Spartan X, in which enemies tend to appear very fast. He said he created Piccolo Daimao because all his villains up to that point had something likable about them, so the character was born in an attempt to have a truly evil opponent. The Ginyu Force and their poses were influenced from the Sentai and Tokusatsu television shows he watched with his children. Toriyama created Androids 17 and 18 after Kazuhiko Torishima, his former editor, was disappointed with Androids 19 and 20 as villains. When Torishima belittled them as well, he then created Cell. Cell was also altered due to outside opinion, being given the ability to transform when Toriyama's then current editor, Yu Kondo, said he was ugly. The idea to have two characters fuse together was suggested by his longtime friend and fellow manga artist Masakazu Katsura, leading to the introduction of amalgamations of characters created either through the fusion Fuyujan Fuhon technique, or by each individual wearing a single matching patara, patara earring but on opposite ears to trigger a patara fusion, patara no heiti patara gatai. Protagonists Topic <inaudible> Son Goku Son Goku, Sun Wu Kong Sun Goku, the most prominent protagonist in the series, is immensely strong, pure of heart, and extremely competitive, but dedicated to defending his adopted home earth from internal or external threats. First introduced as a young boy, Goku was originally conceived by creator Akira Toriyama as a variation of Sun Wukong, protagonist of the Chinese novel Journey to the West, wherefore Goku also sported a prehensile tail until later. Upon meeting Bulma at the beginning of the series, the two then embark on an adventure to gather the Seven Dragon Balls, ch. 1. After, Goku receives martial arts training from Kame Senen, meeting his lifelong friend Kuririn and learning the famous Kamehameha technique, and enters the Tenkaichi Budokai to fight the strongest warriors on the planet. When the evil Piccolo Daimao, and later his offspring Piccolo, tries to rule the world, Goku receives training from Earth's deities to defeat them. Though he appears human, it is later revealed that Goku is descended from an alien warrior race known as the Saiyans, who sent him, originally named Kakarot, to Earth to prepare it for conquest. Ch. 197 Goku sacrifices his life to save the planet from his brother Raditz, ch. 205 but must quickly get stronger in the afterlife under the tutelage of Kaio sama to save it from the other incoming Saiyans Nappa and Vegeta. He later becomes a Super Saiyan and defeats a powerful tyrant Frieza. This sets the tone of the rest of the series, with each enemy the characters face becoming stronger than the last, requiring them to attain further training. The last battle of the original manga, against Majin Buu, has the entire universe at stake, and as such, has Goku and friends being asked for help from the gods of the universe, the Kaioshin. Bulma <inaudible> <inaudible> Bulma, Buruma Buruma, first appears as a teenager, using the Dragon Radar, a fictional device she created to detect the energy signal emitted by Dragon Balls. She is led to Goku's location by the signal emitted by the Four Ball Ball in his possession, and ends up recruiting him as a bodyguard while hoping to get his Four Star Ball to grant her wish for a boyfriend, ch. 1. She gives up on the wish after meeting Yamcha, ch. 23, and much later in the series, she ends up forming a relationship with Vegeta. Bulma has also assumed the role of inventor, providing critical tech support to Goku and his friends with their battles against various enemies and threats. Some of her notable innovations include a microband that could make her shrink, and a time machine that brought her sun trunks to the past. Kame Senen Kame Senen Turtle Hermit 
also known as Mutant Roshi, Wu Tian Lao Shi lit. Invincible Old Master, which is localized as Master Roshi. In the English versions, is a perverted elderly martial arts master instructor that lives on a small island and is the inventor of the Kamehameha technique. Though he seems frail, he is a mighty warrior, having trained Grandpa Gohan and Gyu Mao, ch. 12 Goku and Kuririn, ch. 28 and a few others. Despite his lechery and occasional whimsy or foolishness he is often depicted as wise, cantankerous, and perceptive. He is often accompanied by his talking sea turtle companion, referred to as Yumagame, Yumagame sea turtle, who often tries to point out his faulty ways. He is bald, sports a thick Van Dyke beard, and wears sunglasses, beach clothes, or martial arts suits. He usually wields a walking stick and, in early appearances, wears a turtle's shell on his back. When wishing to appear anonymously in the Tenkaichi Budokai, Kame Senen uses the name, Jackie Chun. Jackie Chun Jackie Chun, wears a wig and discards his sunglasses, ch. 46 Kame Senen was trained by Master Mutaido, Wu Tai Do who have also trained his cohortion turned rival Suru Senen, Hishian Crane Hermit. He has also received additional training from Karen, ch. 135, 88. Topic. Yamcha Yamcha, Yamucha Yamucha, known as Zedeki in the Harmony Gold dub, is introduced as a desert bandit alongside his constant companion Puer, trying to steal Goku and Bulma's Dragon Balls and wish not to feel nervous when near women, ch. 8, 9. He eventually becomes Goku's ally and begins a relationship with Bulma, and later becomes a pupil of Kame Senen, ch. 23, 112. His signature attack is the Rogafufuken, Lang Ya Feng Feng Quan, Fist of the Wolf Fang, rearranged as Wolf Fang Fist. In the Funimation dub, a physical barrage of punches and palm strikes, ending with a double palm strike, ch. 8. As a result of training under Kame Senen, Yamcha is able to perform the Kamehameha and develops the Sokidan, Zhao Chidan, Spinning Kai Bullet, an energy sphere directed by Psychokinesis, ch. 117, 175. He also later trains under Kami Sama to prepare for the impending Saiyan invasion, but dies against one of their Saibaman, ch. 209, 215. Before being wished back to life by the Namekian Dragon Balls, he trained under Kaio Sama in the afterlife, ch. 261, 329. He then helps out during the battles with the Red Ribbon Androids and Cell, but for the most part does not participate in fighting. Kuririn <laughs> 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 Kuririn, Kuririn Krillin in the English anime dub, is a bald martial artist and one of Goku's best friends. He is the classmate of Goku under Kame Senen's tutelage, ch. 28 initially his rival but later a friend, and a loyal companion in adventures thereafter. He is killed by Piccolo Daimao's mercenary tambourine, but later revived by Shenlong, ch. 135-165. After the fight with the Saiyans, he travels to the planet Namek, where, after several battles, he is killed by Frieza, ch. 317. After once again being brought back to life, this time by the Namekian Dragon Balls, ch. 329 he helps out during the Android and Cell arcs. He then forms a relationship with Android 18 and has a daughter, Marin, Ma Ron Marin, ch. 426, 431. Tenshinhen Tenshinhen, Tian Jin Fan Tenshinhen named Tian Shinhen in the Funimation anime dub and also known as Shinto in the Harmony Gold dub, is first introduced, having been trained by Kame Senen's rival Suru Senen, trying to kill Goku and his fellow students, ch. 113, 129. Later, he and his friend and fellow student Chaozu become their allies, holding out against Piccolo Daimao's minion until Goku arrives, ch. 147-154. In the fight with the Saiyans, Tenshinhan dies of exhaustion against Nappa, ch. 218. He trains in the afterlife under Kaio Sama before being revived by the Namekian Dragon Balls, ch. 261-329 Tenshinhan continues to train and helps out during the battles with the androids and Cell, but for the most part does not participate in fighting until the return of Frieza and the Tournament of Power. <laughs> Pan 
Piccolo Piccolo, Piccoro, Piccoro is the spawn of Piccolo Daimao, created to get revenge on Goku in the wake of his death, subsequently assuming the role as the evil half of Kami, ch. 161, 165. However, after just narrowly being defeated by Goku, he has to team up with him and his friends when opposing the invading Saiyans, including training Goku's son Gohan, ch. 193, 198, 205. He is later revealed to be a Namekian, a green-skinned, four-fingered, hairless humanoid species who created the series' titular Dragon Balls, ch. 214. He dies sacrificing himself to protect Gohan during the fight against the Saiyan Nappa, and trains in the afterlife under Kaio-sama before being wished back to life by the Namekian Dragon Balls, ch. 223, 261, 293. While during the fights with Frieza and the androids he maintains the partnership temporarily, and by the time of the Cell and Majin Buu arcs he accepts the fact they are allies. <laughs> Son Gohan Son Gohan Son Wu Fan is Goku's eldest son with Chi Chi, who first appears at the age of four years, ch. 196. He is then kidnapped by Goku's brother, Raditz, and locked up in a space pod. However, his temper flares and he bursts out of the space pod, dealing a blow to Raditz, but also knocking himself out. After the battle, Piccolo takes and trains him for a year as he realizes Gohan's potential. Ch. 205 Gohan slowly becomes one of the strongest characters in the series, at one point holding his own against Frieza and eventually defeats Cell. During the Majin Buu arc he forms a relationship with Vital, with whom at the end of the original manga he has a daughter named Pan, ch. 518. <laughs> Vegeta Vegeta, Vegeta Bahita, is a Saiyan, and the prince of the entire race, first shown conquering a planet with his partner Nappa by listening to Raditz's fight on Earth using their scouters, ch. 204. The two of them travel to Earth in search of the Dragon Balls. He ends up fighting a newly revived Goku, but retreats after persistent attacks by Yahirobi, Kuririn and Gohan, ch. 235-240 he flees to recuperate before heading off to planet Namek to collect its Dragon Balls before Frieza could, ch. 246. While on Namek, Vegeta proceeds to battle and kill many of Frieza's underlings. He is later forced to team up with Gohan, Goku, Piccolo, and Kuririn so they could fight off Frieza. After Frieza's defeat, Vegeta lives on Earth and forms a relationship with Bulma. When the androids arrive, it is revealed he has fathered a son with Bulma, Trunks, ch. 337. Throughout the rest of the series, Vegeta fights alongside Goku and their associates to defeat their enemies, but they still maintain a competitive rivalry with each other. Later in the series, he and Bulma have a younger child daughter named Bra, Bura Bura, known as Bulla in the English dub, unlike her father and brother, and despite being half Saiyan, she does not show any interest in fighting, ch. 518. <laughs> Trunks Trunks, Torunkusu Torunkusu first appears as an unknown young man who easily defeats Frieza and his father King Cold, prior to Goku's return to Earth from planet Namek, ch. 331, 332. It is then revealed that he is Vegeta and Bulma's future child, who has traveled back in time to inform Goku of the coming of the androids that in his time have killed everyone besides Goku, who died of a heart disease around the same time, ch. 334, 335. He helps fight against the androids and Cell, before returning to the future. Just as the androids arrived, the Trunks from the series' main timeline was born, ch. 337 seven years later as a child, Trunks, already able to turn Super Saiyan despite his age, ch. 429 fights against Majin Buu by using the fusion technique with his best friend Goten to form the composite being Gotenks, Gotenkusu Gotenkusu, ch. 480. In Dragon Ball GT, an adult Trunks travel through space with Pan and a de-aged Goku in search of the Black Star Dragon Balls during the first half of the series. <laughs> Android 18 Android 18 Ren Zhao Ren Jian 18 Hao, Jinzoningen Ju Hachi Go, lit. 
Artificial Human No. 18 is a human turned into a cyborg by Dr. Jero, ch. 351. After being released, she travels with androids 16 and 17 in order to kill Goku, though they are interrupted by Cell and the main characters several times. She and 17 are eventually absorbed by Cell, but later during the Cell games, a hard blow from Gohan causes Cell to regurgitate her. Though Kuririn is unable to wish for her to be turned into a human, he is able to have her self-destruct device removed. Ch. 418. Kuririn later pursues 18, and at some point they have a daughter named Marin, Ma Ron Marin. Ch. 426, 431. In an alternate future timeline, she is a mass murdering android who is eventually killed by Trunks. Ch. 419. In 2014, Toriyama revealed her real name to be Lazuli Rizuri Rizuri. Son Goten Son Goten Son Wu Tien is the youngest son of Goku and Chi Chi. When first introduced, Goten strongly resembles his father in appearance, with the same hair style and similar clothing, ch. 424. However, as a teenager at the end of the series his appearance has changed to include a shirt bearing his name and a longer, shaggier hairstyle. Ch. 518 Goten was trained by his older brother Gohan in preparation for the 25th Tenkaichi Budokai, which their father would be attending. During the training, Gohan discovers Goten is already quite strong, due to the fact that he has been training with their mother in stark contrast to Gohan's childhood, and can become a Super Saiyan despite still being a child, ch. 427. Like several characters in the series, he can also perform the Kamehameha technique, ch. 434 in order to save the world from Majin Buu, Goku and Piccolo teach Goten and Trunks the fusion technique which allows them to form the single being Gotenks, Gotenkusu Gotenkusu, ch. 480 Gotenks battles Buu multiple times but even when he transforms into a Super Saiyan 3 he is unable to defeat Buu. Buu temporarily absorbs Gotenks, increasing his own power, but Vegeta and Goku are able to retrieve them from Buu. When Buu destroys the Earth, Goten and Trunks are killed, ch. 506. The Dragon Balls later bring Goten back to life along with the rest of the Earth in order to give energy to Goku's Genki Dama attack, which defeats Buu, ch. 514. Japanese fans voted Goten the sixth most popular character of the Dragon Ball series in a 2004 poll. Masako Nazawa voices Goten in Japanese, while he is voiced by Kara Edwards as a child and Robert McCollum as a teen in the Funimation dub. He is also voiced by Dana Hayes in the Bang Zoom! Entertainment dub. Birus <laughs> 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 Birus, Birusu Birusu, is a deity who appears in the 14th and 15th Dragon Ball Z films, as well as in Dragon Ball Super. A purple cat-like being seen wearing traditional Egyptian clothing and ornaments, he is a god of destruction whose occupation is to maintain balance by destroying planets, in contrast to the Kaioshin who create and preserve them. Often depicted as destroying planets or half of one in a whimsical manner, Beerus's two sole desires are enjoying the universe's finest cooking and fighting opponents who he considers to be worthy. The latter ultimately leads him to look for the Super Saiyan God who turns out to be one of the Saiyans now living on Earth. Eventually, Son Goku undertakes a ritual transformation into the Super Saiyan God and fights Beerus, just to be defeated by the God of Destruction. Having enjoyed the match, Birus spares both Goku and the Earth, saying that Goku was the second strongest opponent he ever faced, first being his caretaker and martial arts teacher, Whis. Birus later forms a team consisting of Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Buu, and Monaka, Monaka to participate in the Tournament of Destroyers after answering a challenge by his brother and fellow god of destruction Champa. Birus was modeled after Toriyama's Cornish Rex Cat. Topic. Antagonists Topic. Red Ribbon Army The Red Ribbon Army, Redoriban Jun Redo Ribbon Gun, is a paramilitary organization led by Commander Red, Redo Zong Shuai Redo Sosui, a short man who has his forces raid towns in search for the Dragon Balls on a quest for world domination. 
However, the plan is secretly a ruse, so he can really use the power of the Dragon Balls to become taller, ch. 95. The second in command, Adjutant Black, Baraku can mow Baraku Sanbo, who loyally obeys Red, shoots him after hearing the real plan and attempts to take command of the army, only to be killed by Goku after he was able to easily wipe out most of their forces. Ch. 95, 96 The many operatives of the Red Ribbon Army serve as obstacles for Goku during his second quest for the Dragon Balls. Goku quickly becomes the top of their hit list when he first comes into contact with them by easily defeating Colonel Silver, Shiruba da Zuo Shiruba Tesa, who is sentenced to death for losing to a little boy, ch. 55, 56. Though they first believe it was only a fluke, they then realize the threat Goku is when he defeats the forces under General White Howeto Jong -jun Howeto Shogun in their northern stronghold known as Muscle Tower, Masurutawa Masurutawa. Among the forces under General White is the android brute Sergeant Metallic, Materiku Jun Sao Materiku Gunzo, Full Metal Jacket, in Viz's English manga and Major Metallotron. In the English anime, the ninja Sergeant Major Purple, Murasaki Sao Jong Murasaki Socho, simply Murasaki. In the English anime, and his four identical brothers, and the large extraterrestrial monster Bion, but Jiggler, in Viz's English manga, ch. 58, 60, 62, 64. Android 8 Ren Zhao Ren Jian 8 Hao, Jinzoning and Hachi Go. Artificial Human No. 8. Or Mechanical Man No. 8, the first red ribbon android operative seen in the series, is eventually activated and deployed against Goku. Android 8 turns out to be kindhearted and dislikes fighting, he befriends Goku, defects from the Red Ribbon Army, and later lives peacefully with the locals of Jingle Village, Jinguru Kun Jinguru Mura and adopts the alias 8 Man Hakan Aider in the anime as suggested by Goku. Android 8 is seen towards the end of the original manga series, giving energy for Goku's Genki Dama to destroy Majin Buu, ch. 63, 67, 515 Other members include General Blue, Colonel Yellow, Iero da Zuo Iero Tesa, Captain Yellow, in the English anime an anthropomorphic tiger whom Goku defeated when arriving at the land of Karen, and Colonel Violet, Bayoretto da Zuo Bayoretto Tesa, the only known female operative of the army, ch. 84, 93. A general copper, Kappa Zhang Jun Kappa Shogun is referred to once by Commander Red, but is never seen, ch. 93. In the aftermath of the Red Ribbon Army's defeat, a surviving member known as Dr. Jero continues to create more advanced androids and uses them as part of his long-term vendetta against Goku. In the film Dragon Ball, Mystical Adventure, Sergeant Metallic appear as a soldier in Emperor Chaozu's army. Several key members of the Red Ribbon Army appears in the alternate retelling film Dragon Ball, The Path to Power, where many of them get altered character designs. Sergeant Major Purple appears in the 1990s Dr. Slump anime, as well as the unofficial live-action Korean film, Dragon Ball, Sawara Son Goku, Igiora Son Goku is one of Pilaf's subordinates. The North American English releases of the manga by Viz Media have edited Adjutant Black's lips by shading them in, possibly to downplay racist stereotypes, similar to their censorship of Mr. Popo. General Blue General Blue, Buru Zhang Jun Buru Shogun, one of the Red Ribbon Army's leaders and seemingly its most powerful member in the original Dragon Ball series, has special telekinetic abilities that allow him to paralyze other individuals and can also be used to control objects, ch. 77, 80. He is a neat freak, and when he does not enjoy Bulma's attempts at seduction, she states that he is gay, ch. 76. He manages to steal the Dragon Radar during their final encounter but after returning to the army's headquarters is set to be executed for not obtaining any of the Dragon Balls after multiple failures, ch. 81, 85. He is allowed to fight the mercenary Taopaipai to redeem himself, though Taopaipai easily kills Blue using only his tongue, ch. 85. Blue appears in the alternate retelling film Dragon Ball, The Path to Power, and is a member of Emperor Chaozu's army and holds the rank of lieutenant in the film Dragon Ball, Mystical Adventure where he is also murdered by Taopaipai in the same aforementioned manner. He also appears in the remade 1990s version of the Dr. Slump anime, where he attempts to take the Dragon Balls from Goku and Aureli, and in a few episodes of Dragon Ball GT. 
He is voiced by Toshio Furukawa in Japanese, who said it was a difficult role to play because of the character's homosexuality, and Sonny Strait in the Funimation dub. Dr. Jero Dr. Jero, Dokuda Jero Dokuda Jero was the chief scientist of the Red Ribbon Army, ch. 335. After the downfall of the organization, he continues using his research and development work on Red Ribbon androids to seek revenge against Goku. After creating a more advanced series of Red Ribbon androids, such as Androids 16, 17 and 18, he eventually implants his own brain into an exact replica of his body, becoming Android 20 Ren Zhao Ren Jian 20 Hao, Jinzoning and Ni Ju Go, lit. Artificial Human No. 20. Ch. 348. Both he and Android 19, Ren Zhao Ren Jian Hao Jinzoning and Ju Q Go, lit. Artificial Human No. 19. A round, pale android and the most loyal of Jero's creations, are able to absorb the energy of others using small devices on their hands, ch. 341-345. The two eventually attack Goku and his friends. 19 successfully drains Goku of his energy while Goku is affected by his heart virus, but is destroyed by Vegeta afterwards. Ch. 342-344 Dr. Jero flees and returns to his laboratory to release androids 17 and 18 as a last resort, but 17 turns on his creator and murders him following a brief altercation. Ch. 349-350 Dr. Jero's death at the hands of android 17 was retold in the seventh Dragon Ball Z film, which which features his other creations, Androids 13, 14, and 15 as the antagonists, they do not appear in the manga or anime series. He appears once more in Dragon Ball GT, planning to return to Earth along with Dr. Myu by creating another Android 17. They succeed, though Myu betrays Jero and has the newly formed Super 17 kill him once again. He is voiced by Koji Yada in Japanese, Brian Dobson in the Ocean dub, and Kent Williams in the Funimation dub. Topic. Tau Pai Pai Tau Pai Pai, Dao Bai Bai Tau Pai Pai Mercenary Dao or General Dao in English anime dubs, is a top assassin for hire and the younger brother of Suru Senen, Hishiyanra Crane Hermit, came Senen's lifelong rival, ch. 120. He wears a custom-made pink gi with the kanji for kill Sha Satsu on the front and the English phrase kill you on the back. He is first introduced in the series by being hired by the Red Ribbon Army to take out Goku and retrieve the Dragon Balls he possesses, ch. 85. He murders General Blue with only his tongue, slew Bora the Guardian of Karen Tower with his own spear, and seemingly kills Goku, ch. 85, 87. After succeeding in the initial battle and collects most of the Dragon Balls in Goku's possession, he where Goku challenges him again with his newfound power from Karen, ch. 90. He gets caught in the explosion of his own grenade and is assumed dead. His brother Suru Senen later enters his disciples Tenshinhan and Chaozu in the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai, and attempts to avenge him by ordering his disciples to hurt and kill Goku and Kame Senen's other students, ch. 92, 113, 120. It is later revealed that Tao Pai Pai survived and was modified into a cyborg using all the money he gained from his previous assassination jobs, ch. 168. He enters the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai with the support of his brother, but is easily defeated by his former student Tenshinhan, ch. 168, 170. In the anime he appears once again, in filler episodes of Dragon Ball Z during the Cell arc. In Japanese, he is voiced by Chikao Atsuka in Dragon Ball and Yukimasa Kashino in Dragon Ball Z in the Ocean dub, he is voiced by Scott McNeil, while in the Funimation dub, he is voiced by Kent Williams. Tao Pai Pai was the model for the character Yuanuma Usui in Nobuhiro Watsuki's Roroni Kenshin manga. Watsuki stated that as the first villain to defeat Goku, Tao Pai Pai made a strong impression on him. Piccolo Daimao Piccolo Daimao, Piccolo da Mo Wang, Piccolo Daimao, the great demon king Piccolo, is the evil half of the Namekian that removed his evil in order to become the god of the earth. This negative energy took on a physical form, becoming a cast off being, ch. 164. 
He and the good half, Kami, are linked, so if one dies, the other will as well, ch. 165. After being formed, he designates himself as the great demon king and begins to terrorize the world. He is eventually imprisoned by Mutaito, the master of Kame Senen and Suru Senen, in a rice cooker by the suicidal Mafu Ba, Mo Feng demon seal, or evil containment wave technique, ch. 135. After being released by Pilaf, he attempts to kill anyone that could possibly seal him again including Kame Senen and Chaozu and uses the Dragon Balls to restore his youth before destroying Shenlong, rendering them useless, ch. 135, 148. He then takes over the king of the world's palace and has the king announce him as his successor, before being confronted by Goku, who, in their second battle, punches a large hole through his abdomen, ch. 152, 161. Before dying, he regurgitates the egg containing his reincarnation, Piccolo Jr., in order to pursue his revenge, ch. 161. He is voiced by Takeshi Aono in Japanese, Scott McNeil in the Ocean dub, and Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dub. Piccolo Daimao also appears in the American live-action film Dragon Ball Evolution, where he is portrayed by James Marsters. His voice was dubbed over by Hochu Atsuka in the Japanese version of the film. Prior to Piccolo Jr., Piccolo Daimao created several offspring in order to help him with his plans. His first shown offspring, Piano, Piano helps him formulate his plan until he is killed when Goku knocks Piccolo Daimao into him, ch. 156. He also creates Tambourine, Tanbarin Tanbarin to hunt down the contenders of the Tenkaichi Budokai to keep the sealing technique from resurfacing, ch. 136 Tambourine kills Kuririn and beats a weakened Goku, but Goku's Kamehameha vaporizes him in a rematch, ch. 135, 136, 141. The third, symbol, Shinberu Shinberu, is created to find Dragon Balls, but he is killed and eaten by Yahirobi, ch. 137, 139. The fourth, drum, Duramu Duramu, is created to battle Tenshinhan, who he easily defeats until Goku appears and crushes his head in one blow, ch. 153, 154. Piano is voiced by Masato Hirano in Japan and Sunny Strait in the Funimation dub, Tambourine is voiced by Ryusei Nakao in Japan and Damian Clark in the Funimation dub, Symbol is voiced by Daisuke Gori in Japan and Mark Orvik in the Funimation dub, and Drum is voiced by Daisuke Gori in Japan and Bob Carter in the Funimation Dub. Topic: Frieza's Army. Frieza, Furiza, Furiza, Frieza in the English anime dub is a galactic tyrant and a recurring villain in the series. Frieza's Army, Furiza Jun Furiza Gun, also known as Frieza's Gang, in the Viz Media localization or Frieza Force. In the Funimation anime dub, controlled a majority of Universe 7 at the peak of its power, and serves as the primary antagonistic force of the first half of the Dragon Ball Z series. Powerful races, such as the Saiyans, are enslaved and incorporated into Frieza's army. Their goal is to take over suitable planets and prepare them for sale to the highest bidder, or destroy planets which are determined to be not financially viable. Frieza's forces are equipped with scouters, portable computers mainly used to measure power levels, and wear standard issue battle armor which usually have dual shoulder guards, matching gloves and boots, and some form of skirt armor or crotch guard. <laughs> Frieza Frieza first appears on planet Namek, where he systematically eradicates almost the entire native Namekian population in his quest to obtain the Dragon Balls, so that he can wish for eternal life ch. 249. It is eventually revealed that Frieza was responsible for destroying the Saiyan planet Vegeta, killing all but a few Saiyans, as he had feared their power, ch. 257. However, he retains three of them, Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz, as his underlings. Frieza later engages Goku and his associates in a protracted battle, with Goku transforming into a Super Saiyan after Frieza murders Kuririn, ch. 317 out of anger and frustration at his inability to counter Goku's newfound power, Frieza blasted a hole into Namek's core in order to destroy the planet, ch. 320 Frieza is then sliced in half by his own attack and begs for mercy, with Goku giving him some of his surplus energy, ch. 326. After he uses that energy to attack, Goku then seemingly kills Frieza, ch. 327. 
He is later rebuilt with cybernetic body parts and travels to Earth with his father King Cold, Karudo Da Wang Karudo Deo and their forces to seek revenge, but all of them are eliminated with ease by Trunks who traveled back in time from the future ch. 331, 332 in Dragon Ball Z, Resurrection F and Dragon Ball Super Series, one of Frieza's loyal officers named Sorbet, Sorub Sorub travels to Earth along with his subordinate Tagama, Tagama to resurrect their master by using Earth's Dragon Balls to summon Shenlong. Frieza takes his time to recuperate and train, and is later accompanied by Sorbet and a thousand-strong military force for his journey back to Earth to once again exact revenge on Goku and his family and friends. Sorbet was killed by his own master's key blast towards the end of the battle, which was intended for Kuririn but was deflected by Vegeta. Even though Frieza utilizes a powerful new form developed as a result of intensive training, Goku defeats him once again and sends him back to hell. A deceased Frieza is later recruited by Goku to participate in the Tournament of Power Li no Dawe Chikara no Teike, lit. Convention of Power, as a member of Team Universe 7. <laughs> Raditz Raditz, Raditsu Raditsu, is a Saiyan warrior and the older brother of Goku, ch. 197 Raditz is one of the few remaining Saiyans following the destruction of their homeworld, planet Vegeta, ch. 197. He arrives on Earth, searching for his long-lost brother in order to recruit him in conquering other planets, ch. 196. When Goku refuses, Raditz kidnaps his nephew, Gohan, and orders Goku to kill 100 Earthlings within a day if he wants his son back, ch. 197. Instead, Goku and Piccolo team up to defeat Raditz, though not even their combined powers are enough, ch. 198, 200. However, Goku makes the ultimate sacrifice by grappling with Raditz and allowing Piccolo to kill them both with his Makinkasapo technique, ch. 205. Before Raditz dies, Piccolo taunts him by explaining that Goku will be revived by the Dragon Balls, though Raditz manages to send one final transmission to inform Vegeta and Nappa of this, believing that his Saiyan comrades will come to Earth and use the Dragon Balls to revive him, ch. 204. However, Vegeta and Nappa travel to Earth to use the Dragon Balls for their own purposes instead. In the anime, Raditz later makes a minor appearance in Dragon Ball GT along with many of the other villains who escaped Hell. He also makes a single panel appearance in Toriyama's 2014 Dragon Ball Minus, the departure of the Fated Child special. He is voiced by Shigeru Chiba in Japanese, Jason Gray Stanford in the Ocean dub, and Justin Cook in the Funimation dub. <laughs> Nappa Nappa, Nappa is one of the few remaining Saiyans that were known to survive the destruction of their homeworld, planet Vegeta, ch. 197. An elite Saiyan warrior, Nappa uses Saibaman, Zaipai Man Saibaman, lit. Cultivation Man, as grunts to root out weaker opponents or to assess an opponent's power and skill level, known as cultivars in the Viz translation of the manga. The Saibaman are green humanoid creatures that grow from a planted seed placed in the ground, which are stored in a special liquid prior to their use. Nappa encounters the Dragon Team after he traveled to Earth with the Saiyan Prince Vegeta in search of the Dragon Balls. He survives Chaozu's self-destructing attack, causes Tenshinhan to die of exhaustion and kills Piccolo, ch. 217, 218, 223. He eventually meets his match against Goku, who had returned to Earth after receiving intensive training from Kaiosama. Vegeta orders Nappa to stop fighting due to Goku's clear dominance over him, but he refuses and is incapacitated by Goku, ch. 226. Seeing that Nappa has been defeated, Vegeta mercilessly kills him himself, ch. 227. In Dragon Ball GT, Nappa briefly returned as one of the escapees from Hell, only to be killed by Vegeta once more. In Japanese he is voiced by Shozo Azuka in Dragon Ball Z, Kiyoyuki Yanada in Dragon Ball GT, and Tetsu Inada in Dragon Ball Kai. In English he is voiced by Michael Dobson in the Ocean dub, and by Christopher Sabat and Phil Parsons in the Funimation dubs. <laughs> Zarbon and Dodoria 
Zarbon, Zabon Zabon and Dodoria, Dodoria are two of Frieza's top-ranking henchmen, first seen alongside their master on planet Namek collecting the planet's Dragon Balls. Zarbon appears to be a handsome, long-haired humanoid alien with a refined temperament, in contrast to Dodoria's brutish and vulgar behavior. Bulma is blinded by her attraction to Zarbon's uncommon physical beauty during their initial encounter, and initially mistakes him for an ally. While their former cohort Vegeta have little difficulty dispatching Dodoria, who inadvertently revealed to Vegeta that Frieza was ultimately responsible for the destruction of the Saiyan homeworld, Zarbon manages to defeat and capture him after transforming into a powerful reptilian beast following their initial encounter, ch. 263. After Zarbon retrieves Vegeta's battered body and brings him to Frieza's ship in order to heal him for interrogation, Vegeta manages to escape and steal Frieza's Dragon Balls. Ch. 264-266 Zarbon sets out to find him once again, but Vegeta, having become stronger after experiencing the effects of a Saiyan genetic trait which increases his power level substantially following recovery from a near-death experience, kills Zarbon in his beastly form. Ch. 268 The duo have been referenced in Dragon Ball Super and make cameo appearances in flashbacks. They also appear in Bardock, the father of Goku where Zarbon advises Frieza to destroy the Saiyan homeworld, and make a brief appearance in Dragon Ball GT when they escape from Hell along with various other villains. In an issue of Beckett Anime, a Beckett magazine publication, Zarbon was voted as one of the top five greatest henchmen of all anime, and was the only character from Dragon Ball on the list. Zarbon is voiced by Sho Hayami in the original Japanese series and by Hiroaki Miura in Dragon Ball Kai and episode of Bardock. In the English versions of the series, he is voiced by Paul Dobson in the Ocean dub, by Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dub and by J. Michael Tatum in Dragon Ball Z Kai. Dodoria is voiced by Yukatoshi Hori in the original Japanese series and by Takashi Nagasako in Dragon Ball Kai and episode of Bardock. In the English versions of the series, he is voiced by Paul Dobson in the Ocean dub, by Chris Forbus in the Funimation dub and by John Swazi in Dragon Ball Z Kai. <laughs> Ginyu Force The Ginyu Force, Ginyu Te Zan Dui Ginyu Tokusentai, lit. Ginyu Special Squadron, is a team of five mercenaries who are hired by Frieza. Though physically some of the strongest individuals in the universe, the Ginyu Force's members delight in coming up with strange poses, betting candy on fights, and playing Jankin. Frieza calls upon them to assist in the defeat of Vegeta and help obtain the Dragon Balls on planet Namek, ch. 272. In the anime, they sans the surviving Ginyu appear at Kaiosama's planet in the afterlife and battle Tenshinhan, Yamcha and Chaozu, who defeat and knock them down to hell. Tenshinhan defeats Jis and Buddha, Yamcha defeats Ryukum, and Chaozu defeats Gerd. Kaiosama reveals that he actually invited the Ginyu force there in order to test their new strength. Gerd, Gerudo Gerudo, named Goldo in the English anime dub, is a fat, short, four-eyed, green-skinned humanoid who, although physically weak, has psychic powers, including the ability to freeze time for as long as he can hold his breath, ch. 273. He can also immobilize opponents and control objects with telekinesis, ch. 274. He is the first one killed when Vegeta interrupts his fight with Kuren and Gohan and decapitates him, ch. 274. Gerd is voiced by Kozo Shioya in the original series and Yasuhiro Takato in Kai. In English, he is voiced by Terry Clausen in the Ocean dub, Dylan Thompson in Funimation's original dub, Bill Townsley in their redub, and by Greg Ayres in Kai. Ryukum, Riku Mu Rikumu, or Rikum in the English anime dub, is a sadistic, orange-haired humanoid who names his attacks after himself, ch. 275. He uses Vegeta like a plaything in their fight, defeats Kuren in one blow, and nearly kills Gohan, ch. 276-278 However, when Goku arrives, Ryukum is the one defeated in a single blow, before being finished off by Vegeta, ch. 280-282. Ryukum is voiced by Kenji Utsumi in the original series and Seiji Sasaki in Kai. In English, he is voiced by David Kay in the Ocean dub and Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dubs. Buddha, Bata Bata, named Birder in the English anime dub, is a blue-skinned reptile-like humanoid, who claims to be the fastest being in the universe, ch. 273. 
He and Jis attack Goku together, but neither of them get a single hit on him, and Buddha is incapacitated, before Vegeta mercilessly kills him. Ch. 281, 282. Buddha is voiced by Yukimasa Kashino in the original series and Masaya Ono Saka in Kai. In English, he is voiced by Alec Willows in the Ocean dub, Mark Britton in Funimation's original dub, Christopher Sabat in their redub, and by Vic Mignogna in Kai. Jis, Jisu Jisu, named Jis in the English anime dub, is a white-haired, red-skinned humanoid, though he resembles a normal human. He and Buddha attack Goku together, but when Buddha is incapacitated, he flees to fetch Captain Ginyu, ch. 281, 282. After Ginyu switches bodies with Goku, they chase after Kuririn, Gohan and Vegeta, where Jis begins a fight with Vegeta and is killed. Ch. 289 Jis is voiced by Kazumi Tanaka in the original series and Daisuke Kishio in Kai. In English, he is voiced by Scott McNeil in the Ocean dub, Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dub, and by Jason Liebrecht in Kai. Captain Ginyu, Ginyu Dui Jong Ginyu Tai Cho, is a horned purple-skinned humanoid who is the leader of the Ginyu force. He is shown to be the most tactically skilled, as he deduced that Goku was masking his true power level by simply watching him fight. After seeing Goku's increased power level when using the Kaioken, Ginyu inflicts a near-fatal injury on himself, ch. 285, 286. He then uses his unique technique that allows him to switch bodies with anyone, leaving Goku with Ginyu's nearly dead body, ch. 286, 287 Ginyu as Goku momentarily deceives Kuririn, but has trouble fighting Kuririn and Gohan when he realizes that he can not fully control Goku's power. Ch. 288, 289 Ginyu then tries to switch into Vegeta's body, but Goku intervenes getting his body back, and when Ginyu tries again, he inadvertently switches bodies with a Namekian frog Goku throws in the way. Ch. 290. In Dragon Ball Super, Ginyu is revealed to have survived the destruction of planet Namek and escaped to Earth, although he is still be trapped in the body of a Namekian frog. He takes the opportunity to swap bodies with one of Frieza's soldiers named Tagama, but was killed by Vegeta not long afterwards. In Dragon Ball GT, he is briefly seen among several escapees from Hell as they return to there after they're defeated by Goku and the others. Ginyu is voiced by Hideyuki Hori in the original series and Katsuyuki Konishi in Kai. In English, he is voiced by Richard Newman in the Ocean dub, Dale Kelly in Funimation's original dub, Bryce Armstrong in their redub, and by Robert Bruce Elliott in Kai. <laughs> Cell Cell, Seru Seru, is the ultimate creation of Dr. Jero, former chief scientist of the Red Ribbon Army, to get revenge on Goku. He is an artificial life form created using the cells of several characters from the series, including Goku, Piccolo and Frieza. As a result, Cell is able to perform techniques such as the Kamehameha, which he gains from the cells of Goku. Ch. 363 Cell evolves several times throughout his appearances. He originally evolves from a cicada like form into his imperfect form, which is still insect like in appearance. Both his first form and his second semi perfect form have a long tail that ends in a stinger like appendage and allows it to absorb other organisms. Ch. 361 the tail recedes under his wings in his final perfect form, and he can use it to spawn Cell Juniors, minuscule childlike versions of himself. Requiring the androids 17 and 18 to evolve, he finds out that they are already dead in his timeline, so he kills the trunks of his timeline and uses Trunks Time Machine to travel back in time. He eventually absorbs both after many battles and ascends to his perfect form, ch. 372, 380, 381. He decides to hold the Cell Games, Saruj Mu Seru Jemu, a tournament in which he fights against Earth's strongest fighters, ch. 389 Cell manages to defeat Goku, but he is eventually killed by Gohan, ch. 416. <laughs> Babidi Babidi, Babidi Babidi, Babidi in the English anime dub, is a Madoshi Mo Dao Shi or Warlock and son of Babidi, Babidi Babidi, the creator of Majin Buu, ch. 445 Long after Buu is sealed away and his father is dead, he sets out to revive Buu to help him conquer the universe. 
Babidi manages to take over the minds of many strong warriors in order to help him achieve his goal, including Dabra, ch. 447 alien warrior Puipui Pocus. In the English manga, ch. 449 light devouring monster Yakin, Yakin ch. 451 and two muscle-bound humans, Yamu, Yamu Yamu and Spopovich, Sapopovichi Sapopovichi, Babidi uses them to collect energy for Boo's revival, and later enlists Vegeta to help him, though Vegeta is able to ignore his orders, ch. 457. After Boo is revived, Babidi manages to control him with the threat of resealing him, ch. 462 though after being manipulated by Goku, ch. 473 Boo turns on him and shatters his head with a single punch, ch. 475, 476. In the anime, he later appears in Hell, cheering Goku and Vegeta on during their fight with Buu. Babidi is referenced in Dragon Ball Super and appears in flashback scenes, and he also makes a cameo appearance in Dragon Ball GT when various villains escape from Hell. Babidi is voiced by Joji Yanami in the original series and by Bin Shimada in Kai, Terry Clausen in the Ocean dub, and Duncan Brandon in the Funimation dub. Topic. Dabra Dabra, king of the demon world, and Heimojia no Wang Dabura Ankoku Makai no O Dabra, named Dabura in the English anime dub, is Babidi's right hand man, being placed under his control by a spell. Dabra is first seen when Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Kuririn are led to Babidi's ship by Kaio Shin and his attendant Kabito to aid them in preventing Majin Buu's awakening. Dabra proved to be a formidable foe for the group, and is compared to Cell in his perfect form in terms of power level, he obliterates Kabito single-handedly, turns Piccolo and Kuririn to stone by spitting at them, and aids Babidi in corrupting Vegeta with a spell. Not long after his successful awakening by Babidi, Boo would turn on Dabra by transmuting him into a large cookie and consumed him. This in turn reverts his petrification of Piccolo and Kuririn, restoring them to normal. In a filler episode of the Dragon Ball Z anime, an apparently redeemed Dabra was shown accompanying Bulma, Chi Chi and Vital in their search for Gohan in the afterlife. Dabra was sent to heaven by the ruler of the afterlife since, being a demon, he would enjoy hell. Dabra is referenced in Dragon Ball Super and appears in flashback scenes. Dabra is voiced by Yuzaburo Otomo in the Japanese version of the anime series. In the Ocean Group English dub, his voice is supplied by Scott McNeil, and he is voiced by Rick Robertson in the Funimation English dub. Majin Buu Majin Buu, Mo Ren Buu Majin Buu, written as Majin Buu in the English anime dub and translated as Jin Buu. In the English manga, is a magical life form created by the warlock Babidi, Babidi eons before the events of Dragon Ball took place, ch. 445. He was temporarily sealed by Babidi and brought to Earth, their next target, but Babidi was killed by the last surviving Kaioshin, ch. 445. However, Babidi's son, Babidi makes it his goal to revive Buu, ch. 445. After being released, Boo appears as an innocent-looking pudgy pink genie-like creature, ch. 460. After Boo kills Babidi, he becomes close friends with Mr. Satan, which eventually causes him to expel his evil side, ch. 476, 483, 484. This evil manifests into a taller and much skinnier, almost frail, form that absorbs the fat Boo, becoming yet another new form that is muscular and much stronger, ch. 485, 485. This Majin Boo is interested in a challenge, and later goes on to absorb Goten and Trunks as Gotenks, Piccolo, and Gohan, ch. 499, 502. It is revealed by the Kaioshin that the fat form of Boo is actually the result of the original Majin Boo, known as Pure Majin Buu, Mo Ren Buu Chun Kui Majin Buu Junsui, or Kid Buu in English dubs, absorbing his fellow Kaioshin into his body, ch. 508. The original Majin Buu is a sleek, child sized being who is obsessed with chaos and destruction. Buu reverts to this form after Goku and Vegeta remove the benevolent fat Buu from his body, ch. 507, 508, who sides with them against his original incarnation. 
The original Majin Buu is defeated and killed by Goku, who wishes for him to be reincarnated as a good person. Ch. 512, 516 to 518. Ten years later, Goku encounters the reincarnation of Buu known as OOB and handpicks him for training as his potential successor. Ch. 518, 519. While the benevolent Fat Buu moves in with Mr. Satan and goes by Mr. Buu, Masuda Buu, Masuda Buu. Goku Black and Zamasu Goku Black, Goku Ibaraku Goku Baraku, or simply Black, is an entity who is identical to Son Goku in appearance. It is revealed that Black had previously traveled to many worlds, wreaks havoc and eventually destroying them, for the sake of justice, whilst calling himself Son Goku. He eventually arrives on an alternate future Earth, encounters that timeline's version of Trunks, and brings the remaining human population to the brink of extinction. Trunks later manages to travel into the present timeline using the time machine, however, Goku Black also finds a way to follow Trunks into the same timeline using the time ring. In the present timeline, Black meets Son Goku, but also recognizes Vegeta and Beerus. Wanting to get rid of him, Black challenges Son Goku to a duel. However, he proves to be no match for Son Goku at his full power. In order to safely escape Trunks' retribution for what he had done, Black destroys Trunks' time machine and travels back into their future timeline. Goku and the others later discover that Goku Black is actually Zamasu, Zamasu Zamas, an apprentice Kaio Shin from Universe 10 of an alternate timeline who hijacked Goku's body using the Super Dragon Balls. Topic. Supporting characters Topic. Oolong Oolong, Uron Uron, named Mao Mao in the Harmony Gold dub, is a shapeshifting, anthropomorphic pig that uses his abilities for his own greedy desires. He and Puar went to the same shapeshifting school together, before he was expelled for stealing the teacher's panties, ch. 8. This is the reason he can only change his form for five minutes at a time, requiring a one-minute break. Oolong joins Goku and Bulma in the search for the Dragon Balls to eventually steal them, but abandons this plan. He does however make the first shown wish with the Dragon Balls, wishing for a girl's pair of panties. Ch. 20 Oolong plays a minor role as the series progresses, where he is often in the company of Kame Senen. He is voiced by Naoki Tatsuda in Japanese, and by Alec Willows and Richard Newman in the Ocean dub. In Funimation's dubs he is voiced by Bradford Jackson, except in Dragon Ball Z Kai, where Brian Massey voices him. Puer Puer, Pu Puru Puar in the Funimation anime dub, Pu Erh in their subtitles, and named Squeakers in the Harmony Gold dub, is a soft spoken blue creature and the constant companion of Yamcha. Puer's abilities consist of transvection and shapeshifting. He and Oolong went to the same shapeshifting school together, where he was constantly mocked by Oolong, ch. 8. When first introduced, he and Yamcha survive in a desert as bandits, where they encounter Goku, Bulma, and Oolong. They initially tail and assist the group in order to steal the Dragon Balls they are collecting, though they later reform and befriend the trio. When Goku transforms into a giant ape for the first time in the series, Puer transforms into a pair of scissors and cuts off his tail to revert him back to his regular state. Ch. 22. Together with Upa, Puer defeats Dracula Man while competing in Baba Yuranai's tournament. Ch. 99. The character's name is a pun on Pu Erht and was designed to slightly resemble a cat. Volume 2. Afterward, when questioned about gender, Toriyama disclosed that he looked at the character as male during illustrations. Puar is voiced by Naoko Watanabe in Japanese, by Cheryl Chase in the Harmony Gold dub, and by Kathy Morse and Kathy Weaslick in the Ocean dub. In Funimation's dubs he is voiced by Monica Antonelli, up until Dragon Ball Z Kai onwards, where Brina Palencia voices him. Chi 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 is the wife of Goku and the mother of Gohan and Goten. She is very protective over the well-being of her family, wishing to remove Gohan from Goku's lifestyle of fighting and constant conflict, but this is interrupted by the constant threats to Earth. 
She later relaxes with Goten, even training him herself. Ch. 427. As the daughter of Gyu Mao, she is considered a strong martial artist in her own right. She and Goku first meet as children when Gyu Mao asked Goku to take her to Kame Senen's house. Ch. 12. In a misunderstanding, Goku promises to marry her, ch. 15 years later, she confronts him to have him fulfill the promise in the quarterfinals of the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai, despite the misunderstanding, ch. 171. She is voiced by Mayumi Sho in the Japanese version of the series up until Dragon Ball Z episode 88, from which point she is voiced by Naoko Watanabe. In the Ocean dub, she was voiced by Andrea Libman as a child and by Lara Sadiq and Lisa Ann Belay respectively as an adult. In the Funimation dub, she is voiced by Laura Bailey as a child and by Cynthia Kranz as an adult. In the Bang Zoom! Entertainment dub, she is voiced by Michelle Ruff. Chi Chi is portrayed by Jamie Chung in the American live-action film Dragon Ball Evolution. Her voice was dubbed over by Ami Koshimizu in the Japanese version of the film. Gyu Mao Gyu Mao, Niu Mo Wang lit. Ox Demon King, known as Ox King in the English anime dub, is the wealthy owner of a castle on Frypan Mountain Frypan Shan and the father of Chi Chi. He was trained in martial arts by Kame Senen alongside Goku's adoptive grandfather, Grandpa Gohan. Despite his imposing name and stature, he possesses a gentle and laid-back personality in contrast to his daughter Chi Chi. He becomes the father-in-law of Goku, the grandfather of Gohan and Goten, and the great-grandfather of Pan. In most Japanese media Gyu Mao was voiced by Daisuke Gori, while Yuzuburo Otomo voiced the character for Dragon Ball Kai and Dragon Ball Super. The character is voiced by Mark Britton and later by Kyle Hebert in the Funimation dub of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, by Dave Ward in the Ocean Group dub of Dragon Ball Z, and by Dave Pettit in the Blue Water dub of Dragon Ball Z. Lunch Lunch, Ranchi Ranchi, named Lunch in the Funimation dub and Marilyn in the Harmony Gold dub, is a woman who Goku and Kuririn rescue and bring to Kame Senen in exchange for him to train them, ch. 26, 27. She has a split personality where she changes between a nice, polite, blue-haired woman and a trigger-happy blonde bad girl every time she sneezes, ch. 26, as her bad form as a known criminal, she decided to stay with Kame Senen, becoming their maid. Lunch's blonde persona develops an attraction towards Tenshinen's fierce attitude. She is not seen after the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai, but is said to be chasing after Tenshinen, ch. 196. However, in the anime she is seen in a few Dragon Ball Z filler episodes during the fight with the Saiyans, and is seen again at the series end helping contribute energy to Goku's Genki Dama to defeat Buu. She is voiced by Mami Koyama in Japanese, Edie Merman in the Harmony Gold dub, and Meredith McCoy in the Funimation dub. Chaozu <laughs> <laughs> Chaozu, Zi Chaozu Chaozu in the English anime dub, is a small human that resembles a Jiangxi with white skin, red cheeks, and has one hair under his hat. Though he is not physically strong, Chaozu is skilled with psychokinesis and telepathy. Ch. 116, 121. Chaozu is first introduced at the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai, having been trained by Kame Senen's rival Suru Senen, trying to kill Goku and his fellow students. Ch. 113. After his friend and fellow student Tenshinhan decides that Suru Senen's teachings are wrong, the two leave him and join with Goku and his companions to defeat Piccolo Daimao. After assisting Tenshinhan and Kame Senen in finding the Dragon Balls, Chaozu is killed by Piccolo Daimao while trying to thwart his wish for eternal youth, but is later revived using the Dragon Balls, ch. 147-165. In the battle against the Saiyans, he self-destructs on Nappa in order to save Tenshinhan, but it is ineffective, ch. 217. He trains in the afterlife under Kaiosama before being revived, this time by the Namekian Dragon Balls, ch. 261, 329. Chaozu then joins the other characters when they gather for the return of Frieza, but Trunks kills the tyrant before a fight ensues. From then on, Chaozu is generally no longer involved in battle, although he continues to train with Tenshinhan. 
He is voiced by Hiroko Imori in Japanese, by Rebecca Forstadt in the Harmony Gold dub, by Kathy Weaslick in the Ocean dub, and by Monica Antonelli in Funimation's dubs, except in Kai Onwards where Brina Palencia voices him. Topic. Dr. Briefs Dr. Briefs, Burifu Boshi Burifu Hakase, sometimes written as Dr. Brief, is the father of Bulma and grandfather of Trunks and Bra. He is an elderly, brilliant and eccentric scientist and is one of the smartest and richest men in the world. Dr. Briefs is the founder and president of Capsule Corporation, Kapusaruko Por Shan Kapuseru Koporishan, the largest company on earth, and the man responsible for the invention of the Hoi Poi capsules, Hoi Poi Kapuseru Hoi Poi Kapuseru, which can shrink inanimate objects down to pocket-sized capsule of namesake. He is responsible for modifying the Namekian spaceship that Bulma, Kuririn and Gohan use on their journey to the planet Namek, in a search for its dragon balls. He also creates Goku his own spaceship to journey to Namek, while allowing him to train in 100x Earth's gravity. Following their return to Earth and in preparation for the battle with the androids, Vegeta forces him into creating him a ship to allow him to train under 300x Earth's gravity, which he reluctantly complies with. He later is essential in repairing the damaged Android 16 in preparation for the Cell Games, alongside his daughter. Dr. Briefs spends the majority of his time in his large home in West City, Shinodo Nishi no Miyako, where he lives with his wife and daughter, along with their numerous pets. His favorite pet is a small black cat, named Tama Tama in the original anime and Scratch in the Funimation dub. He is voiced by Joji Yanami in Japanese. In English, he is voiced by Paul Dobson and Scott McNeil in Ocean dubs, and by Chris Forbus in the Funimation dub. Dr. Briefs appears in the final chapter of Toriyama's 2013 manga series Yako the Galactic Patrolman, which is set before Dragon Ball. Karen Karen, Karen Corrine in the Ocean and Funimation dub and known as Whiskers the Wonder Cat in the Harmony Gold dub, is a Senbio, Xi'an Mao immortal cat and is at least 800 years old when he is introduced in the Dragon Ball. He is a minor deity who lives at the top of the extremely tall Karen Tower, Karen Ta Karen Tu, which is situated underneath Kami's lookout. A warrior named Bora, Bora and his son Upa, Upa reside at the base of the tower, and serve as its guardians, ch. 88, 162. He trained Kame Senen at one point back in the past for three years and gave him the Kintoan Jindo Yun and the Nyoi Bo, Ru Yi Nimbus, and Power Pole in the English anime dub respectively, both of which are later passed on to Goku, ch. 88, 152, 162 Karen trains Goku after his defeat by Taupaipai and, later, gives him a poisoned water from the gods to make him strong enough to beat Piccolo Daimao, ch. 88, 151. He is also the one in charge of deeming people worthy of meeting Kami, Goku being the first human he has ever deemed worthy, ch. 162. He continues to help Goku and his friends by growing Senzu beans, Xi'an Do which can fully heal any injuries and fatigue instantly, and is often accompanied by Yahirobi. Karen was modeled after the pet cat that Toriyama had at the time. Japanese fans voted Karen the 12th most popular character of the Dragon Ball series in a 2004 poll. He is voiced by Ichiro Nagai and Naoki Tatsuda in Japanese, Paul Dobson and Ted Cole in the Ocean dub, and Mark Britton and Chris Sabat in the Funimation dub. Yahirobi Yahirobi, Yahirobi, Yahirobi is an overweight samurai that is often considered to be rude, unmannered, timid, lazy, and cowardly. During their first meeting, Yahirobi gets mad at Goku for stealing his fish, and hates him, ch. 138. However, he has a change of heart and helps Goku after he is defeated by Piccolo Daimao, taking him to Karen's to be healed, ch. 50. Yagirobe continues to support Goku and his companions from then on, though often from the sidelines. Originally he was a wanderer that lived off the land, but after meeting Karen and discovering the Senzu beans, which provide the nutrients of ten days' worth of meals, restore energy and heal wounds, he lives with Karen. He begins growing the beans with him, and often delivers them to Goku and his companions. 
He plays an integral part in Goku's first fight with Vegeta, although simply planning to watch while hidden. When Vegeta stares at a full moon and transforms into a giant ape, Yahirobi uses his sword to cut off his tail and turn him back to normal. Ch. 235. When Kuririn died, Toriyama requested that Yahirobi be voiced by his voice actress Mayumi Tanaka. When Yahirobi and Kuririn later appeared in the same scene together, Tanaka gave the former a Nagoya dialect in order to distinguish them. Japanese fans voted Yahirobi the 19th most popular character of the Dragon Ball series in a 2004 poll. He is voiced by Brian Drummond in the Ocean dub, Lucas Gilbertson in the Blue Water dub, and by Mike McFarland in the Funimation dub. Topic: <laughs> Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo, Masuda Popo Masuda Popo is a genie-like entity who serves as the attendant of Earth's guardian deity, ch. 163. When he first appears, he easily gets the best of Goku in a skirmish, ch. 163. He then assists Kami in training Goku for three years in preparation for his battle against Piccolo at the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai as well as later training Kuririn, Yamcha, Tenshinhan, Chaozu and Yahirobi during their preparation against the Saiyans, ch. 165, 209 Mr. Popo serves Dend as his attendant upon the latter's ascension as Earth's new guardian. Mr. Popo is voiced by Toku Nishio in the original series and Yasuhiko Kawazu in Kai. In English, he is voiced by Alvin Sanders and French Tickner in the Ocean dubs, and by Chris Casson and Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dubs. Mr. Popo's appearance has been considered an offensive racist stereotype related to Sambo or blackface by some, such as Carol Boston Weatherford in an article she wrote in the Christian Science Monitor in May 2000. While discussing the controversy, IGN suggested it is easy to see why by describing the character as the black-skinned, red-lipped, turban-wearing servant of Kami", but noted that Japan does not have the kinds of racial sensitivities that the Western world has. The Jim Crow Museum at Ferris State University listed Mr. Popo as an example of racism in modern material. The North American English releases of the manga by Viz Media censor Mr. Popo's lips by shading them in completely. In the U.S. airing of Dragon Ball Z Kai on the CW4 Kids, Toonzai Block, Mr. Popo's skin was changed from black to blue. Kami Kami, Shen Lit, God, is Earth's guardian deity for the first half of the series, and creator of the Earth's Dragon Balls. The word, Kami is a generic term used by various characters throughout the series when referring to gods and deities in the original Japanese dialogue. This character is simply referred to as Kami-sama, Shen Yang and his actual name is never revealed. He and Piccolo Daimao were once one being, later revealed to be a Namekian, who expelled the evil inside him order to assume the mantle of Earth's guardian deity, ch. 164. The evil incarnation, Piccolo Daimao, then went on to terrorize Earth until being sealed away by Kame Senen's master, Mutaito. Because they are one, if either Kami or Piccolo Daimao dies, then the other will as well and the Dragon Balls cease to exist. Ch. 165, 207 Shortly before Piccolo Daimao dies at the hands of Goku, he spawns a much stronger incarnation, Piccolo, who takes over these same traits and retains his memories. Kami later attempts to attempt to seal away the new Piccolo himself using the same technique as Mutaito, and enters the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai, possessing a human named Shen Hero in the English anime dub as a guise, ch. 175, 181. But Piccolo has learned to reverse the technique and traps Kami in a water jug instead and swallows it, later being released thanks to Goku, ch. 181, 182, 187. During the fight against the Saiyans, Kami dies when Piccolo is killed by Nappa, but through the power of the Namekian Dragon Balls they both are wished back to life, ch. 223, 293. During the Android Saga, Kami agrees to fuse with Piccolo, with Piccolo absorbing his energy, strength, memories, intelligence and thought pattern, ch. 356, 360 A young Namekian named Dend later succeeds him as the new Kami. He is voiced by Takeshi Aono in Japanese, who would do so up until the Frieza arc in Dragon Ball Kai. After Aono suffered a stroke, Bin Shimada voiced the character for his final appearance during the Cell Saga. 
In English he is voiced by Michael Dobson and Dale Wilson in the Ocean dub, and Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dub. Dend Dend, Dend is a child of the great elder, Zui Zhang Lao Saichoro guru in the English anime of Planet Namek. He was saved from Frieza's henchman Dodoria, Dodoria by Gohan and Kuririn as a youth and taken into their care. Ch. 255 Dend then guides Kuririn to the great elder to tap into vast hidden reserves of his power. Ch. 265 he also interprets the Earthlings' wishes when utilizing the Namekian Dragon Balls, as the wish must be said in the native language of the Namekians. Ch. 292, 293, 324 Dend later gains the power to heal injuries after having his own power unlocked by the Great Elder, which he uses to aid the warriors fighting Frieza until he is killed by the tyrant for being disruptive and helping the Earthlings. Ch. 299, 304 after being resurrected, ch. 323 Dend resides on New Namek until he is asked by Goku to become Earth's guardian deity, ch. 393, 394. He accepts the position, revives Earth's inert Dragon Balls, and continues to serve as Earth's guardian deity throughout the rest of the series. Dend develops a close working relationship with Piccolo, as the latter had fused with fellow Namekian's nail, Niru Niru, whom Dend was friends with, and his predecessor. He is voiced by Tamiko Suzuki in the original Japanese series up to episode 288 of Dragon Ball Z, by Hiro Yuki in episodes 290-291 of Z and Dragon Ball GT, and by Aya Hirano in Dragon Ball Kai and all media since. In the Funimation dubs of the series, he is voiced by Sally Delgadillo as a child, Justin Cook as an adult, Laura Bailey in the redub, and by Maxi Whitehead in Kai. Topic. Android 16 Android 16 Ren Zhao Ren Jian 16 Hao, Jinzoning and Ju Roku Go, lit. Artificial Human Number 16, is a large fully mechanical android developed by Dr. Jero. He is deemed a failure, and is deactivated until Android 18 reactivates and releases him, ch. 350, 351 Despite the other androids enjoying fighting, 16 refrains from battle, only showing interest in following his orders to search for and kill Goku, who, along with Cell, is the only character he shows animosity towards. Unlike the other two, 16 processes a sophisticated mechanism to sense and track power levels in real time, ch. 362. While trying to protect Android 17 and 18 from Cell, he is greatly damaged, ch. 371-373 though Bulma and her father later repair him, ch. 394. After he is repaired, he temporarily ignores his orders to kill Goku to focus on the fight against Cell. Like 17 and 18, 16 was designed with the ability to self-destruct, but the device was removed during his repairs. This is made known only when 16 tries to self-destruct and destroy Cell, with Cell retaliating and destroying him, ch. 406. However, his head and consciousness survive, but later is destroyed by Cell, which pushes Gohan over the edge to Super Saiyan 2, ch. 407, 408. He is voiced Hikaru Midorikawa in Japanese media, Scott McNeil in the Ocean dub, and Jeremy Inman in the Funimation dub. Topic. Mr. Satan Mr. Satan, Masuda Satan Masuda Satan, known as Hercule in some of Funimation's dub and in Viz's English manga, is a flamboyant martial artist that becomes a world-renowned hero after the Cell Games. After Goku and his companions stop attending the Tenkaichi Budokai, Mr. Satan starts winning them and becomes the reigning champion for many years. During the Cell games, he attempts to fight Cell, but even after being swatted away, he is given credit for Cell's death by the media, ch. 421. He is soon called a world hero, gaining great wealth and a city named after him. Though Goku and his companions find his inflated ego and arrogance very annoying, he becomes their trusted friend after befriending the good Majin Buu. He helped defeat the evil version of Buu by using his celebrity to rally the people of Earth to contribute their energy to Goku's Genki Dama. The good Majin Buu moves in and lives with Mr. Satan and his pet Labrador Retriever B. 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 In their initial dub of the series, Funimation changed his name to Hercule. 
However, when they recorded a new dub for uncut home video releases, they switched to using the original Mr. Satan. In 2009, Toriyama revealed his real name to be Mark Maku Maku, a pun on the Japanese word Akuma, which means devil or demon. Japanese fans voted Mr. Satan the 11th most popular character of the Dragon Ball series in a 2004 poll. He was voiced by Daisuke Gori in Japan until his death, with Unshu Ishizuka taking over the role afterward, while in English he is voiced by Don Brown in the Ocean dub, and Chris Rager in the Funimation dub. In Filipino dub, in order to censor his name, he was given the name Master Pogi. Topic. Vital Vital, Baidaru Baidaru, is the daughter of Mr. Satan. Her name is an anagram of Devil, a play on words with her father's name. Like her father, she trains in martial arts, even surpassing him in strength. She uses her abilities to fight crime in the city, and after Gohan appears as the great Sayuman, she quickly figures out his identity. She uses that to blackmail him into teaching her how to fly. After Boo is defeated, the two form a relationship, eventually having a daughter named Pan, ch. 518. When the two fight crime together afterwards, she takes on the role of the Great Saiyaman 2, or Great Saiyawoman. In the 14th Dragon Ball Z film and Dragon Ball Super, Vital participated in a ritual while pregnant with her unborn daughter to enable Goku to transform into a Super Saiyan god, her hair briefly becoming golden like that of a Super Saiyan. Japanese fans voted Vital the 20th most popular character of the Dragon Ball series in a 2004 poll. She is voiced by Yuko Minaguchi in Japanese, with the exception of Kai where she is voiced by Shino Kakanuma, by Maneka Story in the Ocean dub, Kara Edwards in the Funimation dub, and Erika Harlicker in the Bang Zoom! Entertainment dub. Topic. Marin. Marin, Ma Ron Marin is the daughter of Kuririn and Android 18, and appears as a recurring supporting character in the Dragon Ball media series where she is usually in her mother's care. As a toddler and later young child, she resembles her father, she has his eye shape and apparent lack of a nose. However, she does indeed have a nose, though small, and as she grows older, Marin begins to resemble her mother. Unlike her parents, Marin is not a martial artist and does not appear to possess any fighting ability or special powers. In Japanese media she was initially voiced by Tamiko Suzuki, by Naoko Watanabe in the TV special Yo! Son Goku and His Friends Return, and The Battle of Gods film, and by Hiroko Yoshida in Dragon Ball Kai and Dragon Ball Super. She is voiced by Melody Lentz in the Funimation dub of Dragon Ball Z, by Meredith McCoy in the Funimation dub of Dragon Ball GT, by Lori Barnes-Smith in the Blue Water dub, and by Tia Ballard in the Funimation dub of Resurrection F, Dragon Ball Z Kai, and Dragon Ball Super. Topic. Pan Pan, Pan is the granddaughter of Goku and daughter of Gohan and Vital, ch. 518, as such her ancestry comes from both humans and the extraterrestrials called the Saiyans. Pan appears as a young child in the final installments of the original manga and Dragon Ball Z anime series, and is featured as one of the protagonists of Dragon Ball GT. In Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Gods film and Dragon Ball Super, Vital, pregnant with Pan, volunteers for a ritual on behalf of her unborn daughter as a sixth Saiyan participant is required. She shows signs of being a prodigy in subsequent episodes of Dragon Ball Super, being able to fly as a toddler. According to Dragon Ball GT producer Kozo Morishida, Pan's role in the GT series was intended to be a strong but constantly imperiled character who had to be rescued by Goku, essentially a heroine who makes Goku a hero. In Japanese media she is voiced by Yuko Minaguchi. In the English versions of Dragon Ball Z, she is voiced by Brenna O'Brien in the Ocean dub and Kate Bristol in the Funimation dub. In the English versions of Dragon Ball GT, she is voiced by Elise Bauman in the Funimation dub who also voices her in Dragon Ball Kai and by Caitlin Medrek in the Blue Water dub. In Super Baby Pan is voiced by Jeannie Tirado in the English version of Dragon Ball GT, Final Bout, she is voiced by Leah Sargent. <laughs> O.O.B. 
OOB, Yubu Yubu, known as UUB in the English anime dub, is the human reincarnation of the evil Majin Buu. After Bu was destroyed, Goku asked for him to be reincarnated as a good person, so they may battle again. Ch. 518 Goku eventually senses Ub's hidden power and seeks him out ten years later, when OOB attends the tournament to gain money for his village. Ch. 518 Goku ends up deciding to train him to be a future defender of Earth and as an opponent that he can battle. Ch. 519 A major supporting character in Dragon Ball GT, he would eventually be reunited and reintegrated with the good. Majin Buu, transforming him into Majub, Majub, in the English dub, or Super OOB, Supa Yubu Supa Yubu, to face threats such as Baby, Super 17, and Omega Shenron. After fusing with Buu, he experiences a slight alteration of his physical appearance, and gains a massive boost in power as well as new abilities such as Buu's signature ability to turn enemies into candy. He is voiced by Megumi Urawa in Dragon Ball Z and Atsushi Kisaichi in GT, and by Kara Edwards and Sean Teague in the Funimation dub. Wiss Wiss, Uisu Uisu is an angelic being who appears in the 14th and 15th Dragon Ball Z films, as well as in Dragon Ball Super. A tall teal humanoid with pronounced effeminate features, Wiss is Beerus's martial arts teacher who always accompanies the god of destruction wherever he goes. He is unmatched in power and possesses tremendous speed, effortlessly defending himself against Goku and Vegeta and when training the two for the fight against the resurrected Frieza. As an attendant to his universe's god of destruction, Wiss is responsible for monitoring Beerus and keeping in line, for example, he would not permit him to engage his brother and longtime rival Champa in any physical fight, as it is said that both of their respective universes will be destroyed should their fighting escalate. The character's name stems from a misunderstanding. Toriyama incorrectly believed that Beerus's name was a pun on the word, beer, and so decided to follow the same rule to name the character's assistant. Thus, he ended up naming the character Wiss, a pun on whiskey. Uisuki Uisuki. Wiss is voiced by Masakazu Morita in Japanese media and Ian Sinclair in the Funimation dub. Topic <laughs> Yako. Yako Tiramenten Paibashi, Jako Tiramenten Paibashi, Jako Tiramenten Paibashi is an alien galactic patrolman who is the main character of Yako the Galactic Patrolman, a manga by Akira Toriyama set before the events of Dragon Ball. A member of the Galactic Patrol, a cosmic police force that is led by the Galactic King, Yin Hei Wan Gingao, and tasked with keeping order throughout the Milky Way galaxy, Yako arrives on Earth to prevent it from being threatened by an evil alien. He fails to track down the alien, who turns out to be Son Goku, but befriends Bulma's older sister Tights, Taitsu, and returns to space. He appears in the 15th Dragon Ball Z film, and becomes a recurring character in Dragon Ball Super. Yako is voiced by Natsuki Hane in Japanese and by Todd Haberkern in English. Other characters Android 17 Android 17 Ren Zhao Ren Jian 17 Hao, Jinzoning and Ju Nana Go, lit. Artificial Human No. 17, is a human turned into a cyborg by Dr. Jero. His real name is Lapis, Rapisu Rapisu, ch. 351. He has jet black hair, unlike his sister, Android 18, who has blonde hair. 17 and 18 are released by Dr. Jero as a last resort to fend off Goku's associates, but they turn on their creator and quickly kill him instead, ch. 349, 350. With nothing better to do, they begin to travel in order to find and kill Goku, coming into contact with the main characters several times. 17 is eventually absorbed by Cell, ch. 372, but is brought back to life when those killed by Cell are revived with the Dragon Ball. He makes a cameo appearance at the end of the series giving energy for Goku's Genki Dama to destroy Majin Buu, ch. 418, 515. In Dragon Ball Super, 17 participates in the Tournament of Power Li no Dawei Chikara no Teke, lit. Convention of Power, 
as a member of Team Universe 7. In an alternate future timeline, Android 17 is a mass murdering android who is eventually killed by Trunks, ch. 419. In the anime only sequel Dragon Ball GT, 17 is manipulated into fusing with his machine mutant replica, created by Dr. Jero and Dr. Mayu, and become the villainous Super 17, Chao Hao Cho Ju Nana Go. Areli Noramaki Areli Noramaki, Zewan Arare Noramaki Arare is a little girl android built by the scientist Senbei Noramaki in Penguin Village, Penjin Kun Penjin Mura from Toriyama's previous manga Dr. Slump. She is very naive and fights as if she is simply playing around possessing the ability to run at mock speed and unbelievable strength. Areli is often accompanied by two cherubs known as the Gatchans that are capable of eating almost anything and shooting lasers from their antennas. Goku meets her during his final encounter against General Blue of the Red Ribbon Army and easily does away with him when Goku was unable to defeat him. Ch. 81-83 Aureli also appears in the third Dragon Ball film where she defeats Taopaipai. In Dragon Ball Super, she easily defeats Vegeta when being controlled by her creator's archenemy Dr. Mashirito and has a seemingly even match against Goku. Burdock Burdock, Badaku Badaku, Bardock in Funimation's English anime dub, is the father of Raditz and Kakarot Goku. Burdock's story is shown in the 1990 Dragon Ball Z TV special and in Toriyama's 2014 Dragon Ball Minus, the departure of the Fated Child special. In the TV special, during a routine planet-conquering mission on the planet Kanasa, one of the surviving inhabitants strikes Burdock, giving him its native ability to see into the future in the process. Soon, Burdock began to see visions of Frieza's plan to destroy planet Vegeta and all of the Saiyans, as well as Goku's future on Earth. Burdock attempts to prevent the destruction of his race by challenging Frieza in orbit of planet Vegeta, but is unsuccessful, and becomes the first of the Saiyans to be obliterated by Frieza. Before his death, however, Burdock has one final vision of Goku challenging Frieza, and is able to die pleased knowing his son would avenge their race. In Dragon Ball Minus, which takes place a month before the destruction of planet Vegeta, Burdock has a strong feeling that Frieza is up to something when they receive an order for all Saiyans to return home, so he convinces Jain, Jain to send their infant son, Kakarot, to Earth. Burdock's basic design was originally conceived for the TV special by the anime staff, with Toriyama slightly altering it. His armor was based on that of Toshiro Mifune's character in Seven Samurai, at the insistence of director Mitsuo Hashimoto. Toriyama stated that Burdock's tragic story moved him and so decided to include him in the manga. Burdock appears in two panels during Goku's first confrontation with Frieza, when Frieza comments that Goku looks just like that Saiyan who resisted when he destroyed planet Vegeta and the narrator informs the reader that he was Goku's father, ch. 307. He is voiced by Masako Nazawa in Japanese, and by Sunny Strait in the Funimation dub. Burdock also stars in the 2011 spin-off manga Dragon Ball, episode of Bardock by Naho Oishi, and its subsequent animated short film adaptation. <laughs> Gods of Destruction The Gods of Destruction, Po Y Shen Ha Kai Shen, known as Destroyers in the Funimation dub, are deities introduced in Dragon Ball Super and in Dragon Ball Z, battle of gods who destroy planets, civilizations or external threats that put the development of the universe they oversee at risk. This is in contrast to the Kaio Shin who create and fill planets and worlds with life. They are capable of obliterating any target they desire, be it a living or undead being, an inert construct, or even an entire planet or a specific portion at the deity's whim. Alongside their Kaioshin counterparts, they rule over their respective universes and work with each other in order to maintain the balance of their respective universes. Because the gods of creation and destruction share their life force with each other, a destroyer will die if their counterpart perishes. Each god of destruction is paired with an angel, Tian Shi Tenshi, a being of extremely high status within the multiverse hierarchy. Each angel is bound to the service of his or her deity and rarely leaves them unaccompanied. Their role is to guide their deity to master their destructive capabilities, train their deity in martial arts and also to perform trivial duties such as preparing meals for their deity. 
They are tasked with supervising their deity and keeping them in check, and will intervene when they go too far. Champa Champa, Shanpa Shanpa is Beerus's twin brother and the god of destruction of the sixth universe, which is linked with the seventh universe as its twin universe. He looks like an overweight version of Beerus and wears a variation of the traditional Egyptian clothing and ornaments Beerus is wearing and his name also derives from an alcoholic drink, champagne, Shanpan Shanpan. He has a long-running rivalry with Beerus, and the brothers often bicker or engage in acts of one-upmanship like food contests and proxy wars. During the Universe 6 saga, Champa holds a fighting tournament known as the Tournament of Destroyers. He forms a team by gathering the strongest warriors from Universe 6 to challenge Universe 7, which consists of Hit, Kaba, Frost, Botamo, Botamo and Automageta. Automageta. Champa is voiced by Mitsua Iwata in the Japanese version of the series. In the Funimation English dub, his voice is supplied by Jason Liebrecht. Champa is usually accompanied by his attendant and martial arts teacher, Vados, Vuadosu Vadosu, the sister of Wis and the daughter of the Grand Minister, Da Shenguan Daishinkan, lit. Grand Priest. Like Wis, her name is also derived from an alcoholic drink, Calvados, Karuvuadosu Karuvadosu. In Dragon Ball Super, she is first seen accompanying Champa while searching for the Super Dragon Balls, they are successful in obtaining six of the seven Super Dragon Balls prior to the Tournament of Destroyers. Vados openly displays concern with Champa's physique and health problems and often teases him for being overweight, blaming his weight issues as the cause of his low stamina and his difficulty in keeping up with her training. She is also shown to be polite and respectful, even when addressing lesser beings or those who are not from her universe such as Goku. She is voiced by Yuriko Yamaguchi in Japanese, and by Caitlin Glass in the Funimation English dub. Topic. Grandpa Son Gohan Grandpa Son Gohan, Son Wu Fan Jisan Son Gohan Jisan is the adoptive grandfather of Goku, whom he found in a crashed spaceship, ch. 197. He teaches Goku martial arts, having originally studied under Kame Senen with Gyu Mao and also knows the Kamehameha technique, ch. 12, 106. He warns Goku not to look at the full moon, but Goku disobeys him and accidentally kills him while on a rampage in his giant ape form. Ch. 21, 233 Goku does not learn this until Vegeta turns into an ape and tells Goku about the transformations. Ch. 233 He is brought back to life for one day by Baba Uranai in order to fight Goku and see his growth as a martial artist. Ch. 108 in the anime only, he later appears as an assistant to Anon, Anon the ruler of the Magical Furnace. He is voiced by Osamu Saka in the Japanese version of the original series, by Kinpei Azusa in Bardock, the father of Goku and by Shigeru Chiba in Dragon Ball Kai. In the Funimation dub of the series, he is voiced by Christopher Sabat. He is portrayed by Randall Duck Kim in the American live-action film Dragon Ball Evolution. His voice was dubbed by Hiroya Ishimaru in the Japanese version. Grandpa Son Gohan briefly appears in the final chapter of Toriyama's 2013 manga series Yako the Galactic Patrolman, which is set before Dragon Ball. Topic. Kaio The Kaio, Jia Wang referred to as Lords of Worlds in Viz's English manga and the Kai in the English anime dub, are upper-level gods of the Dragon Ball multiverse, ch. 205. There are five at a time, one presiding over each of the four quadrants of the universe and the last, the Dai Kaio, Da Jia Wang, Great Lord of Worlds, overseeing them all, ch. 440. The Kaio reside in the heavens and are responsible for the lower-level deities who rule over individual planets. Later in the series it is revealed that Kaio Shin exist, they are themselves in charge of the Kaio, ch. 440, and that all Kaio and Kaio Shin hail from the same race of beings. It is possible for an individual Kaio to be promoted to the rank of the Kaio Shin after a period of training as an apprentice. For example, Zamasu was the former North Kaio, Bei no Jia Wang Kita no Kaio of Universe 10 prior to being chosen by Gawasu, Gawasu Gawas, the ruling Kaio Shin of Universe 10, as his apprentice and eventual successor. 
The North Kaio of Universe 7, named King Kai in the English anime dub, trains Goku after his self-sacrifice to defeat Raditz, and eventually trains Yamcha, Tenshinhan, Chaozu and Piccolo. He is the only other Kaio to appear in the original manga, besides a brief appearance of the South Kaio, Nan no Jia Wang Minami no Kaio, ch. 428 and as such is usually simply referred to as Kaio-sama. Jia Wang and Kaio-sama trains dead fighters that were allowed to keep their bodies, if they manage to reach his small planet at the end of Serpent Road, She no Dao Hubi no Michi, Snake Way, in the English anime dub, ch. 205. Before training any students, he forces them to appeal to his strange sense of humor and catch his pet monkey bubbles, Baburusu ch. 210, 211. In the anime, they must also hit the flying cricket Gregory Gurigori with a mallet. Kaio-sama provides Goku with martial arts training and two of his own techniques, the Jenki Dama Yuan Chi Yu and the Kaio Ken, Jia Wang Quan which he himself was never able to master, ch. 212, 227. He continues to help Goku and his friends throughout the series, lending his planet locating and telecommunicating abilities for their use. When Goku brings a self-destructing cell to his planet, the explosion kills Kaio-sama and Bubbles and destroys his planet, ch. 412, 413. As he is already in the afterlife, he only gains a halo, and in the anime appears to settle down on the Dai Kaio's planet. He is voiced by Joji Yanami in Japanese media until episode 12 of Dragon Ball Super, where Naoki Tatsuda took over the role, Don Brown and Dave Ward in the Ocean dub, Sean Schemmel in the Funimation dub, and Michael McConaughey in the Bang Zoom, Entertainment dub. Kaio <laughs> Shin <laughs> The Kaio Shin, Jia Wang Shen referred to as Lords of Lords in Viz's English manga and the Supreme Kai in the English anime dub, are the highest level gods in the Dragon Ball universe. Like the Kaio whom they govern, all Kaio Shin hail from a race of naturally divine beings while the Kaio watch over the living world, the Kaio Shin watch over both the other world, the afterlife in the Dragon Ball series, and the living world. The Kaio Shin are known for recruiting mortal beings to become their disciples, Jia Wang Shen no DZ Kaio Shin no Deshi, Gohan and Trunks trained under their universes Kaio Shin to prepare for threats like Majin Buu and Dabra, and gained access to healing powers in the process. The Kaio Shin and their followers wear a pair of earrings known as the Patara, Patara which allow two individuals to fuse into an amalgamation and permits the wearer to use a time ring. In Dragon Ball Super, it is revealed that gods of destruction exist and are equal in status to the Kaioshin. Kaioshin act as creation gods, Chuang Zhao Shen Sozashin, by providing the energy for the creation of new planets and species, while the gods of destruction serve a contrasting purpose by destroying planets or entire civilizations when appropriate to maintain the balance of the universe they oversee. Universe 7 There were originally five Kaio Shin in the seventh universe, and much like the Kaio, four of them ruled over each of the four quadrants of the universe and a fifth, the Dai Kaio Shin, Da Jia Wang Jin, Great Lord of Lords, ruled over them in turn, ch. 445. Prior to the events depicted in Dragon Ball, all but one met their fate at the hands of Majin Buu. The original leader of the five, the Dai Kaioshin, da Dai Jia Kai Wang o Shen Shin Dai Kaioshin, lit. The great god of a boundary king asterisk, was absorbed by Majin Buu, although his benign influence dulled the creature's destructive nature. Ch. 445. The East Kaioshin, Dong no Jia Wang Shen Higashi no Kaioshin, originally the ruler of the Eastern Quadrant of Universe 7, became the de facto ruler of the entire universe as a result of the demise of his peers, ch. 445, 440. He has purple skin and a white mohawk and is always accompanied by his larger, reddish pink skinned, loyal attendant Kabito. In the Dragon Ball manga, he came to Earth, under the alias. Shin. Shin to meet Goku and his friends and recruit them to stop Babidi from reviving Buu, ch. 438, 446, 460. After failing to prevent Taboo's return, Gohan is then taken to the Kaio Shin's faraway planet Jia Wang Shen Jia Kaioshin Kai, lit. Quote. Realm of the Lord of Lords. 
where he is given the Zeta Sword, Zeto so do Zeto Sodo, Z Sword in the English anime dub and put to training. The sword is accidentally broken during Gohan's training, releasing the East Kaioshin's ancestor, referred to as the Old Kaioshin, Lao Jia Wang Shen Ro Kaioshin. He uses his power to increase Gohan's and his own life force to resurrect Goku, who made the decision to remain in the afterlife after his death by a self-destructing cell. The elder Kaioshin remains by his descendants' side as an advisor following Majin Buu's defeat, and makes recurring appearances in subsequent Dragon Ball media, ch. 471, 479 Kabito and the East Kaioshin later gets permanently fused into one being, referred to as Kabito Shin, Kabito Shen when they each remove one of their Patara earrings, ch. 501 Kabito Shin later assists in the final battle with Buu by teleporting Goku and the last survivors on Earth onto his planet and help take Den to the new planet Namek to use its Dragon Balls to revive Earth and its people, ch. 508, 513. In Dragon Ball Super, Kabito Shin uses a wish granted by the Namekian Dragon Balls to diffuse himself back into the two original component entities. The East Kaioshin is voiced by Yuji Mitsua, and by Shinichiro Oda in Dragon Ball Super and Battle of Gods. In English the Kaioshin is voiced by Kent Williams in Funimation's English dub, and by Michael Dobson in the Ocean Group dub. Kabito is voiced by Shin Aomori, by Don Brown in the Ocean Group dub and by Chuck Huber in the Funimation dub. The old Kaioshin is voiced by Rizo Nomoto in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, and by Ryoichi Tanaka in Dragon Ball Super and Battle of Gods. Tetsuya Ivanaga provides the voice for the old Kaioshin's younger self in flashbacks. In English he is voiced by Scott McNeil in the Ocean dub, by Steve Olson in the Blue Water dub, and by Kent Williams in the Funimation dubs. King Vegeta King Vegeta, Beji Ta Wang Bahita O, is the last king of the Saiyans, Saiya Ren Saiya Jin, a naturally aggressive humanoid warrior race who possess tails that grant each Saiyan the ability to transform into a great ape, Da Yuan Ozaru, when looking at a full moon, allowing them to grow incredibly large in size and tremendously in strength and power while drastically changing into a beastly visage. He is the strongest Saiyan warrior in his time, as well as the father of the Saiyan princes Vegeta and Tarbal. Tabur. While he is referred to throughout the series media, he did not appear in the original manga. He led the Saiyan people, who have historically lived a violent and barbaric lifestyle where they attack numerous planets to build up wealth and goods, to victory in the Ten Year War against the Tuffles, Sufuru Ren Sufuru Jin, after which the Tuffles' home planet was renamed Planet Vegeta Huoshing Beji Ta Wakusei Bahita, in his honor. Similar to his son Vegeta in nature and appearance, he is ruthless in dealing with his subordinates and delights in the death of others. After the Saiyans were annexed by Frieza into his army, he had no choice but to pledge allegiance to him while at the same time retaining power over his own people. King Vegeta is killed by Frieza when he leads a rebellion against him and boards his spaceship to retrieve his son. After his death, Frieza destroys his home planet and commits genocide of the entire Saiyan race. In Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Gods and in both the anime and manga versions of Dragon Ball Super, King Vegeta is seen in flashbacks depicting his encounter with Beerus during the latter's visit to Planet Vegeta. In Japanese, he is voiced by Banjo Ginga in Episode 78 of Dragon Ball Z, Yukimasa Kashino in Episode 124 and Masaharu Sato in the 8th Dragon Ball Z film. Terry Clausen voices him in the Ocean dub, while Christopher Sabat voices him in the Funimation dub. Pilaf Gang Pilaf, Parafu Parafu, Emperor Pilaf in the English anime dub, is a small impish blue creature who is the leader of the Pilaf Gang Parafu Yiwe Parafu Ichimi and dreams of ruling the world. Together with his two minions, Mai and Shu, Shu Shu, a humanoid dog in a ninja outfit, he seeks out the Dragon Balls to wish for world domination. After initially succeeding in obtaining the Dragon Balls, he is foiled by Goku and his companions after Oolong's wish is granted by Shenlong just before he can speak his fully, ch. 20. The Pilaf gang returns to antagonize Goku a couple more times throughout the series, while attempting to obtain the Dragon Balls again and when they release Piccolo Daimao from his confinement, ch. 109, 135. 
In the first case, their attempt is quickly cut short when they are defeated by Goku again, and in the second, Piccolo Daimao betrays them after they have outlived their usefulness to him. Ch. 110, 148. Prior to the events of the 14th Dragon Ball Z film and Dragon Ball Super, the Pilaf gang use the Dragon Balls to wish for the restoration of their youth, only for the wish to backfire and they are transformed into young children by Shenlong. They then attempted to infiltrate Bulma's birthday party in order to claim the Dragon Balls again, with Pilaf being mistaken for a monkey while Trunks claims that Mai is his girlfriend. The Pilaf gang later reforms much like several of Goku's past adversaries, and they even become Trunks' classmates at school. The Pilaf gang appear in the first episode of Dragon Ball GT, where they obtain the Black Star Dragon Balls and Pilaf accidentally wish Goku to be a child again, setting in motion the events of the entire series. Shu was originally named Soba. Soba when he first appeared, however, when the series was being adapted into an anime, the staff asked Toriyama what his name was and he instead replied with Shu, forgetting that he had already named him, ch. 18, volume 12, afterward. By the time he realized the mistake, the anime had already aired, so he decided to use Shu in the manga when the character reappeared, volume 12, afterward. Pilaf is voiced by Shigeru Chiba in Japanese, Don Brown in the Ocean dub, Mike McFarland in the third Dragon Ball film, and by Chuck Huber in the Funimation. Dub. Shu is voiced by Tesho Genda in Japanese, Doug Parker in the Ocean dub, Justin Cook in the third film, and by Chris Casson in the Funimation dub. <laughs> Mai. Mai Mai is one of Pilaf's subordinates along with Shu. She is initially depicted as a beautiful, calculating enemy of Goku and his friends who always resorts to weaponry and technology, her serious tone is a foil to the comic personalities of her colleagues. At some point in time prior to the Cell Games, Mai and her colleagues had used the Dragon Balls to wish for their youth, resulting in them being turned into children. During the Trunks Saga arc of Dragon Ball Super, a once again adult Mai is revealed to be leader of the resistance forces on Earth against the evil Goku Black in an alternate future timeline. This version of the character, known as Future Mai, Weilai no Mai, Mirai no Mai is depicted as a close friend and potential love interest of her timeline's Trunks, and works closely with him and their allies from the main timeline in an effort to defeat Goku Black and foil his so-called Zero Mortal Plan, which involve the complete annihilation of all mortal life in the multiverse. Mai is voiced by Eiko Yamada in Japanese, Terrell Rothery in the Ocean Dub, Cynthia Kranz in Mystical Adventure, Colleen Klinkenbird in The Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, and by Julie Franklin in the Funimation Dub. She was portrayed by Eriko Tamura in the American live-action film Dragon Ball Evolution. Her voice was dubbed over by Yuko Keita in the Japanese version. Shenlong. Shenlong, Shenlong Shenron Shenron, lit. Dragon God. Shenron in Funimation's anime dub, also known as the Eternal Dragon in the Ocean and Funimation dubs and as the Dragon God in the Harmony Gold dub, is the wish-granting dragon summoned when all seven of Earth's Dragon Balls are gathered together, ch. 1. Throughout the series, several rules on the Dragon Ball's use and limitations on Shenlong's power are explained. After the wish is granted the balls scatter across the planet, turn to stone and are useless for a year, meaning, during this year they can not be detected by Bulma's dragon radar, ch. 1, 20. The dragon balls also become useless if Shenlong is destroyed, in this case they must be recreated by their creator, or if their creator is killed, ch. 148, 165, 194. Shenlong cannot bestow a wish that exceeds the power of his creator, this is why Shenlong couldn't destroy the Saiyans before they came to Earth. Ch. 243 Midway through the series, it is learned that the Dragon Balls are created by the extraterrestrials named Namekians, Earth's Kami being one of them. Ch. 242 A person can only be brought back to life once, and only if that person did not die of natural causes. Ch. 218 321 Earth is without Dragon Balls for a period, when Kami re merges with Piccolo, until Den takes over the position of God, ch. 355, 360, 393. 
When Dend recreates Earth's Dragon Balls, he makes them so that one can now have two wishes, but each wish is still capable of resurrecting multiple individuals at once. Ch. 394 Shenlong is voiced by Kenji Utsumi in the Japanese version of the series until his death in 2013 with the exclusion of episodes 192 and 193 in the series and the films, in which he is voiced by Masaharu Sato, he is voiced by Daisuke Gori in Dragon Ball GT, by Koji Yada in the Dr. Slump remake and by Yuzaburo Otomo since episode 97 of Kai. In the English versions of the series, he is voiced by Don Brown in the Ocean dub, and by Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dub. Shenlong's Namekian counterpart is Purunga, Purunga Namekian for God of Dreams. Ch. 292 Purunga has a large, muscular humanoid upper body and something similar to a dorsal fin down his back and the dragon balls are much larger than Earth's. Unlike Shenlong, he can only bring a single person back to life at a time, but he can bring that person back multiple times which Shenlong cannot Ch. 292, 327. He can also grant three wishes instead of one. Additionally, the user must speak in the Namekian language. Ch. 292. Purunga and the Namekian Dragon Balls were created by the planet's great elder, Zui Zhang Lao Saichoro, guru in the English anime, the parent of every Namekian on the planet, who kept one and gave each of the other six to a different elder. Ch. 252. 260. When the Great Elder dies he passes his position on to Murray, Mu Ri Murray, ch. 327. When the Namekian Dragon Balls are used again during the fight with Majin Buu, Purunga had been upgraded to be able to wish back multiple people at once and still grant three wishes, ch. 513 Purunga is voiced by Junpei Takaguchi in the Japanese version of the series with the exclusion of episode 283, in which he is voiced by Daisuke Gori, he is voiced by Masaharu Sato in the video games. In Dragon Ball Kai Daisuke Gori originally performed the role, after his death, Yuzaburo Otomo took over. He is voiced by Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dub of the series. Dragon Ball GT introduces Ultimate Shenlong, Juji Shenlong Kukyoku Shenron, a much larger red Shenlong made by Kami when he and Piccolo Daimao were still one entity. He is summoned when the Dark Dragon Balls, Black Star Dragon Balls in the Funimation dub, are gathered, and can grant any single wish, regardless of any restrictions placed on the other dragons. Ultimate Shenlong is voiced by Kenji Utsumi in Japanese, and by Christopher Sabat in the Funimation dub. GT also introduces Black Smoke Shenlong, Heian no Long Kokuin no Ryu, lit. Black Smoke Dragon. Named Black Smoke Shenron in the Funimation dub, a cigar-smoking dragon who forms from all the negative energy accumulated from the selfish wishes granted throughout the series using the Dragon Balls. Summoned from the same Earth Dragon Balls, he splits into the seven evil dragons and they spread out over the Earth, causing the heroes to defeat each one. Daisuke Gori voices evil Shenlong in Japanese, and Christopher Sabat voices him in the Funimation dub. Dragon Ball Super introduces Super Shenlong, Chao Shenlong Super Shenron, and the Super Dragon Balls which are spread throughout universes 6 and 7. The Super Dragon Balls were created by the dragon god Zalama, Zarama Zarama, are the size of planets and have no restrictions on their wishes, although they only grant one and it must be spoken in the language of the gods. It is revealed that the Namekians took fragments of the Super Dragon Balls to create their own on planet Namek. Super Shenlong is voiced by Yuzaburo Otomo in Japanese and by Christopher Sabat in English. Topic: <laughs> Universe 6. Universe 6 Diu Jo Dai Roku Uchu, also known as the Challenging Universe, Tiaozan no Yujo Chosen no Uchu, is the sixth of the 12 parallel universes introduced in Dragon Ball Super. Universe 6 is linked with Universe 7, creating a twin universe. Any planets or species that have existed and or exist in Universe 7 will also likely have existed or exist in Universe 6, and vice versa. Characters from this universe were the first outside of Universe 7 to be introduced upon the reveal of there being multiple other universes. Topic. Kaba. Kaba, Kayabi Kayabi is a Saiyan hailing from Universe 6 a planet Sadala, Sadara Sadara and an elite member of the Sadala Defense Forces, first introduced in Dragon Ball Super. 
Planet Sadala is also the original homeworld of the Saiyans of Universe 7, but according to Vegeta, it has been destroyed by internal discord long ago and no longer exists. Unlike the arrogant and savage nature exhibited by the vast majority of Saiyans from Universe 7, Kaba is presented as a good-natured and humble individual who speaks respectfully to everyone and sees himself as a protector of the weak. As one of Universe 6's strongest warriors, he is recruited to join Champa's team during the Tournament of Destroyers. Kaba bonds with Vegeta following the events of the tournament and looks up to him as a mentor, in spite of the fact that they fight for opposing teams. He is voiced by Daisuke Kishio in the Japanese version of the series. In the Funimation English dub, his voice is supplied by Clifford Chapin. <laughs> Frost Frost, Furosuto Furosuto, is the ruler of an empire based in Universe 6, and hails from the same race of beings as Universe 7's Frieza. He is first introduced in Dragon Ball Super as a competitor for his universe during the Tournament of Destroyers. Unlike Frieza, he is apparently perceived in a positive light by the majority of his subjects in Universe 6. Frost's characterization differs between the manga and anime adaptions of Dragon Ball Super, being a malevolent being not unlike Frieza in the anime, while on the other hand the manga version of the character is simply amoral and unsportsmanlike. In the anime, Frost faces off against Goku, Piccolo and Vegeta in successive rounds in the tournament and defeats Goku and Piccolo by cheating and using his secret poison. Goku is allowed to return to the tournament after this is revealed and Frost is defeated by Vegeta. He is eventually exposed as a devious manipulator who feigns benevolence as a facade, and is in fact a space pirate and planet broker who discreetly profits from warmongering activities in his universe. In the manga, there is no mention of Frost being involved in criminal activities nor any indication of him being evil, and he appears to have a genuinely pleasant personality. He is indifferent to accusations of being a dirty fighter for using his poisonous stingers, as the tournament offers no prize money and the battles are ultimately pointless according to his perspective. Frost is voiced by Ryusei Nakao in the Japanese version of the series. In the Funimation English dub, his voice is supplied by Greg Ayres. <laughs> Hit Hit, Hito Hito, also known as Hit the Infallible, by Fa Bai Zhang no Hito Hyapatsahyakuchu no Hito and as the legendary assassin, Yun Shuo no Sha Shi Wu Densetsu no Kuroshi Ya, is an assassin from Universe 6 introduced in Dragon Ball Super. He is known for using his signature time skip, Shi Tabashi Toki Tabashi ability to manipulate time and for his capability to eliminate his assassination targets with a single strike. Over a millennia old, he is the strongest member of his universe's team during the Tournament of Destroyers. Hit eventually rebels against Champa and throws his fight against Monaka, Monaka easily the weakest participating member of the opposing Universe 7 team, by eliminating himself in the final match of the tournament. In Japanese, Hit is voiced by Kazuhiro Yamaji. In the English dub, he is voiced Aaron Roberts in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and by Matthew Mercer in all subsequent appearances. Topic. Uranai Baba Uranai Baba, Zanai Baba Uranai Baba, lit. All-seeing crone. Fortune teller Baba in the English anime dub, is an old witch and Kame Senen's older sister, ch. 101. She possesses a magic floating crystal ball that she rides on top of, which she can use to see the location of any lost item, ch. 97, and to have a limited view of the future. She is also able to travel to the afterlife, where she recruits deceased individuals and brings them back to the living world to fight for her, albeit only for one day, ch. 108. She lives in a big palace located over an oasis in the desert. She normally charges a very high price for her services unless her team of fighters are defeated, ch. 98. Her regular fighters are Dracula Man, Dorakuraman Dorakura Man, Count Dracula, in Viz's manga and Fangs. In the English anime dub, a boxing vampire, Suk San, Suk San, Invisible Man, in Viz's manga and See Through. In the English anime dub, an invisible man who is weak with his only advantage being that he cannot be seen, Mummy Kun, Mira Kun, Mira Kun, Mummy, in Viz's manga and Bandages. In the English anime dub, a mummy with brute strength, and Devil Man, Akuman Akuman, 
Devil in Viz's manga and Spike in the English anime dub, a humanoid devil who can destroy people using the evil in their hearts, ch. 99-104 during the time Goku and his friends visit in order for her to find the last Dragon Ball after the defeat of the Red Ribbon Army, his adoptive grandfather son Gohan was the last of her fighters, temporarily brought back to the real world to see his grandson, ch. 108. She later makes many recurring appearances from time to time, including bringing Goku back to life for one day for the 25th Tenkaichi Budokai, ch. 230. In Japanese she is voiced by Junpei Takaguchi in Dragon Ball and early Dragon Ball Z, and by Mayumi Tanaka during the later half of Dragon Ball Z and during Dragon Ball Kai. In English she is voiced by Ellen Kennedy in the Ocean dub, and by Linda Chambers Young in the Funimation dub. Zeno Zeno, Quan Wang referred to as the Lord of Everything in Viz's English manga, is the supreme deity of the twelve Dragon Ball universes, first introduced in Dragon Ball Super. Depicted as a childlike humanoid figure, Zeno ranks above all other mortals and gods in the series and has the power to erase entire universes from existence at will. He is served by a pair of identical-looking attendants and is advised by Grand Minister, Da Shen Guan Daishinkan, lit. Grand Priest, an angelic being who resides at Zeno's palace and is the father of Wiss and Vados. First appearing during the aftermath of the Tournament of Destroyers between Universes 6 and 7, Zeno is treated with utmost reverence and fear by the other gods and mortals. He is addressed by his subjects as Zeno Sama Quan Wang Yang in original Japanese media, and Grand Zeno or the Omni King in the English dub. Goku is a notable exception, he befriends and addresses Zeno in a casual manner. Zen Chan, Quan Chan in the original Japanese. Zeni, in the English dub, which is considered disrespectful and lacking in etiquette by most characters in the series. Part of the caution others have around Zeno comes from the fact that he acts and behaves like a child, destroying entire planets and universes out of amusement or dismay. Zeno is voiced by Satomi Kurogi in Japanese and by Sarah Wiedenheft in English. <laughs> Anime exclusive characters Brawly Brawly, Barori Barori, is a character that appeared as the main villain in the films Brawly, the legendary Super Saiyan and Brawly Second Coming. His backstory was that he was born with a power greater than most elite adult Saiyans, and is mentally unsettled as an adult due to the crying of the infant Goku in the incubator next to him when they were born. Traumatic events during his childhood, including nearly being executed as well as Frieza's genocide, and also in part due to his extreme power. He eventually becomes the legendary Super Saiyan. Yun Shuo no Chao Saiya Ren Densetsu no Cho Saiya Jin told of in Legends, with his destructive tendencies only being quelled by a special controlling device created by scientists for his father, Paragus, Paragasu Paragasu. In the eighth film, after Paragus lures Vegeta, Goku, and their companions to another planet, Brawly recalls Goku and goes into a rage, destroying the control device and becoming the unstoppable legendary Super Saiyan. He effortlessly pummels Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Trunks as well as Piccolo, before killing his father. He is eventually defeated by Goku, but somehow manages to make his way into an escape pod. In the tenth film, he lands on Earth and goes into a frozen state until the crying of Goku's son Goten awakens him. He is killed by Goku, Gohan and Goten by their combined Kamehameha attack after being blasted through the sun. In Bio Brawly, blood samples make their way into the hands of an industrialist, who creates a clone of the original Brawly. The clone eventually wakes up and becomes mixed with Bio Liquid, mutating him into a creature known as Bio Brawly. Bio Barori Bio Barori. He fought Goten, Trunks, Android 18, and Kuririn, and is eventually defeated by a combined Kamehameha attack after his body is exposed to sea water and becomes petrified as a result. He is voiced by Bin Shimada in the Japanese films, and Vic Mignogna in the Funimation dub. A reworked version of Brawly that fits into the official Dragon Ball series continuity will appear in the upcoming animated film, Dragon Ball Super, Brawly, where he apparently serves as the main antagonist. 
This Brawley's backstory and physical appearance have been updated by Akira Toriyama, who had only created concept art of the original character for the Z films that featured him. This version of Brawley is still voiced by the same actors listed in the paragraph above. Topic. Cooler Cooler, Kuora Kura is a character that appears in the fifth and sixth Dragon Ball Z films as the main villain. He is the brother of Frieza who travels to Earth to seek revenge on Goku. While he admitted that he never liked his brother, he felt that he needed to punish the one who had ruined his family's honor. Despite transforming into his final form, which is one transformation higher than his brother, he is defeated by Super Saiyan Goku. He returns in the sixth film, his remains having combined with the Big Gete star, Bigujitesuda Bigu Gete Suda, a sentient planet-sized machine. This gives him the ability to create an indefinite amount of meta-coolers, metarukuora metarukura, which have the ability to constantly repair and improve upon themselves. He tries to consume the planet New Namek, but is eventually destroyed by the efforts of Goku and Vegeta. Cooler also appears in a promotional anime for Super Dragon Ball Heroes which adapt the game's Prison Planet arc. In the Dragon Ball Z side story, plan to eradicate the Saiyans OVA, as well as a brief appearance in Dragon Ball GT. He is voiced by Ryusei Nakao in Japanese media, and Andrew Chandler in the Funimation dub. <laughs> Garlic Jr. Garlic Jr. Gariku Junior Gariku Junior is a character that first appears in Dragon Ball Z: Dead Zone. His father was imprisoned by Kami in the Realm of Darkness, leaving Garlic Jr. with a deep feeling of resentment and desire for revenge. He manages to obtain the seven Dragon Balls, wish for immortality, and begin his quest for revenge. He is defeated when faced with an angry Gohan, who pushes Garlic Jr. into the Dead Zone, Dedo Zo N Dedo Zon, an alternate dimension he can freely open. Garlic Jr. is one of the few original characters from the films to appear in the TV series. In the TV series, he breaks free using the Makio star, Mo Shang Shing Makio Se, Planet Makio, as a power source, leading to the events of the Garlic Jr. arc. After brainwashing and transforming all living creatures of the world with the black water mist, Aquamasudo lit, Aqua Mist, he is once again trapped in the dead zone after the destruction of the Makio star. In the original Japanese versions, Garlic Jr. is voiced by Akira Kamiya in the film and by Shigeru Chiba in the anime. He is voiced by Don Brown in the Ocean dub of the film, while Chuck Huber voices Garlic Jr. in the Funimation dub of both the film and anime. In the film, Garlic Jr. has three henchmen named Nikki, Nikki Nikki, Sancho Sancho and Ginger, Jinja Jinja. They accompany him to kidnap Gohan, and attack and defeat Piccolo before fighting him again alongside Goku. Nikki and Ginger are killed together by Goku's Kamahamaha, while Sancho is killed by Piccolo. When he returns in the anime, Garlic is accompanied by a new group of henchmen known as the Spice Boys, or the Four Monarchs, Mozu Ctn Wang Mazoku Shitana, lit. Four Heavenly Kings of the Demon Clan. Spice, Gashu Gashu, Gash is their leader, with aqua skin and white hair in a similar style to Vegeta. Vinegar, Binaga Binaga is a big light purple muscle man with long hair and horns. Mustard, Tadu Tado, Tard is also a muscle man but with brown skin, long red hair, and bull horns. Salt, Zorudo Zorudo, Zald is the smallest, with red skin. They help Garlic Jr. take over Kamis, and fight Kuririn and Gohan, but in the end, all four are killed by Gohan. Paikuhan. Paikuhan, Paikuhan Paikuhan, known as Paikon in the English anime dub, is a character who is a resident of the other world, the afterlife in the Dragon Ball series, and first appears in the 195th episode of Dragon Ball Z and the first episode of the other world arc, where he first encounters Son Goku and his mentor the North Kaio, Bei no Jia Wang Kita no Kaio. While his mentor the West Kaio, Shi no Jia Wang Nishi no Kaio is a bitter rival of his northern quadrant counterpart due to a sense of competition among the Kaio over whose quadrant has the best fighters, he develops a friendly rivalry with Goku after competing against each other in the Other World tournament held in honor of the recently deceased North Kaio. 
The character later appears in Dragon Ball Z, Fusion Reborn as a major supporting character, and in various Dragon Ball video games. Akira Toriyama had purposely designed the character to be similar to Piccolo in terms of appearance, role, and personality. There are even memos left for the anime's production staff, which specifically instructs using Piccolo as a reference for facial expressions. His popularity with the Dragon Ball fandom is noted by ScreenRant's Craig Elvey. In a V Jump survey conducted in 2017 prior to the airing of the anime adaptation of the Tournament of Power storyline, he is voted by Japanese fans as the favorite choice to replace Mr. Buu as a participant from Universe 7. The character is voiced by Hikaru Midorikawa in Japanese media, by Brian Drummond in the Ocean dub, and by Kyle Hebert in the Funimation anime dub. Topic. Dragon Ball GT Topic. Baby Baby, Bebby Bebby, is a character that first appears in the 22nd episode of Dragon Ball GT. He is a parasitic alien created by combining the DNA of the King of the Tuffles, Sufuru Ren Sufuru Jin, with a cybernetic body. Baby desires to exterminate all of the Saiyans to avenge the extinction of his people and the loss of their homeworld to the Saiyans. Baby is first reactivated from a sleep state by Dr. Mayu. He attempts to fight Goku, Trunks, and Pan, but is easily defeated. To boost his power, Baby infects various people with his DNA and begins gathering energy from them. After a second defeat at the hands of the three Saiyans, Baby infects Trunks and travels to Earth with his unsuspecting host. On Earth he battles Goten and Gohan, infects them both, and is able to infect Vegeta and make him his primary host. Goku, Trunks, and Pan return to Earth to find the entire population is now under Baby's control. Baby is able to defeat Goku, then he begins using the Black Star Dragon Balls to restore the planet Tuffle and transport the Earth population to it. During this time, Baby evolves into an even more powerful form and defeats Goku again. This causes Goku to transform into a golden great ape and then into a Super Saiyan 4. In this new form, Goku is able to defeat Baby Vegeta. He has Bulma, also under his control, fire a radiation beam at him from her Blutz Wave Generator which enables him to transform into a golden great ape as well. After a lengthy battle, Baby separates from Vegeta and attempts to escape in a spaceship, vowing to return to destroy the Saiyans. Goku blasts the spaceship with a 10x Kamehameha attack, sending it into the sun. The ship is destroyed and Baby is obliterated. He is voiced by Yusuke Namada in Japanese media and by Mike McFarland in the Funimation anime dub. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mayu. Dr. Mayu, Dokuda Mayu Dokuda Mayu is a recurring antagonistic character that first appears in the 13th episode of Dragon Ball GT. A brilliant but mad machine mutant scientist, he is assisted by his enforcer General Rildo, Rurudo Jong Jun Rurudo Shogun and intends to gather the Black Star Dragon Balls to complete what appears to be his ultimate creation, Baby. His plans are eventually foiled by Goku, Pan and Trunks after they arrive on the planet M2 and defeat most of his minions. Mayu escapes and evades Goku and his companions after Baby's apparent defeat, only to be killed when Baby suddenly emerges from his body. It is then revealed that Baby was the one who created and programmed Dr. Mayu, and not the other way around. He later joins forces with Dr. Jero while in Hell to create a duplicate of Android 17 using Mayu's machine mutant technology, who then manipulates the original Android 17 into converging their power together to open a rift between Earth and Hell, enabling him and his co-creators to escape. Android 17 and his machine mutant duplicate eventually fuse together to become Super 17, who subsequently turns on and murders both Jero and Mayu. He is voiced by Kazuyuki Sogabe in Japanese media and Duncan Brannan in the Funimation anime dub. Giru Giru, Giru is a character that first appears in the third episode of Dragon Ball GT. 
originally known as T2006 or DB4649 T2006 RS, Giru is a machine mutant, fully mechanical beings with organic properties, they can mold, contort, and reshape themselves like organic life forms, absorb and integrate metallic and mechanical materials into their own being, as well as restructuring themselves. He is encountered by Goku, Pan and Trunks on Imetsuka. Giru consumes their dragon radar for energy in an act of desperation for survival, inadvertently integrating the dragon radar's functionality into his software. Giru joins Goku's group and accompanies them to various planets in the galaxy on their quest to find the Black Star Dragon Balls. Giru would become good friends with Pan in the series, however, he is frequently the recipient of abuse, both verbal and physical, at the hands of Pan, which makes him somewhat fearful of her. Giru plays a pivotal role during the group's encounter with his creator Dr. Mayu as well as the parasitic baby on the planet M2, and aids them in their subsequent struggle against the villains. During the Shadow Dragons arc, Giru accompanies Goku and Pan to search for the seven Shadow Dragons using his built-in dragon radar functionality to track the creatures. He is voiced by Shinobu Satichi in Japanese media and by Sunny Strait in the Funimation anime dub. Shadow Dragons The Shadow Dragons, known as Evil Dragons in the original Japanese, are a group of evil beings born from the evil energy caused by overuse of the Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball GT. When attempting to undo the damage caused by Super 17, the cigar-smoking Black Smoke Shenron, Evil Shenlong in Japanese, is summoned from the Dragon Balls instead of the regular Shenlong. He splits out the tainted dragon balls before fading away, each manifesting into one of the seven dragons as they proceed to cause chaos across the world. They are named after the one star through seven star dragon balls, one star dragon, Yi Xing Long I Shinran, Chinese, Yi Xing Long, two star dragon, Er Xing Long Ryan Shinran, Chinese, Er Xing Long, three star dragon, San Xing Long San Shinran, Chinese, San Xing Long, four star dragon, Si Xing Long Su Shinran, Chinese, Si Xing Long, five star dragon, Wu Xing Long U Shinran, Chinese, Wu Xing Long, six star dragon, Lu Xing Long Ryu Shinran, Chinese, Lu Xing Long, and Seven Star Dragon, Qi Xing Long Chi Xinran, Chinese, Qi Xing Long. In the English dubs, their names are changed to Sin Shenren, Hayes Shenren, Ice Shenren, Nuova Shenren, Rage Shenren, Oceanus Shenren, and Naturon Shenren, respectively. Goku, Pan, and Giru manage to defeat the other dragons before encountering Ice and Nuova Shenren. Being much more honorable than his siblings, Nuova helps Goku defeat Ice. However, Sin Shenron kills Nuova before absorbing both his Dragon Ball and the others as well to increase his power. Sin Sharon, or the One Star Dragon, was created as the result of Mr. Popo's wish with Earth's Dragon Balls to revive everyone on Namek that died at the hands of Frieza and his forces. The nature of the wish in turn made Sin Sharon both the most powerful and most evil of the Shadow Dragons. Making himself known after the death of Ice Shenron, killing Nuova Shenron in the process, Sin Shenron manages to swallow the other six Dragon Balls to become Omega Shenron, Super One Star Dragon, Chao Yi Xing Long Super I Shenron in Japanese, with access to all of the abilities of his Shadow Dragon brethren. After a long battle, he is killed by Goku's Super Genki Dama, and the Dragon Balls are purified. Sin, Omega Shenron is voiced by Hidakatsu Shibata in Japanese. Bob Carter and Christopher R. Sabat respectively voicing Sin Shenron and Omega Shenron in the Funimation dub, while Victor Atelovich voices them both in the Blue Water dub. Merchandise Several pieces of merchandise were released based on the characters from the series. These include keychains, action figures and plush. Other merchandise featuring characters include t-shirts, tumblers and trading card games. Characters are also featured in video games from the series. While initial games were role-playing games RPG, the following became fighting games. Topic: Reception Carl Kimlinger of Anime News Network and stated Few anime series have mainstreamed it the way Dragon Ball Z has. 
To a certain generation of television consumers its characters are as well known as any in the animated realm, and for many it was the first step into the wilderness of anime fandom." His colleague Alan Divers praised the story and humor of the manga for being very good at conveying all of the characters' personalities. Carlos Santos, also of Anne, commented that the Dragon Ball cast may not be as stylish looking as today's shonen adventure protagonists, but every character has a distinctive set of physical features, making them identifiable at any moment." DVD Talks Todd Douglas had strong praise for the "...deep, insightful, and well-developed." characters, writing, "...few shows can claim to have a cast quite like Dragon Balls, and that's a testament to the creative genius of Toriyama." However, he felt the Red Ribbon Army was hit or miss." Tim Jones of THEM. Anime Reviews praised the series for having good characterization, saying, "...you do care about them, and want to get to know more about them." He considered them to be different from stereotypical stock characters, but noted that they have much more development early on than when compared to later in the series. Theron Martin, also of Anne, wrote that while the characters are not complicated, they are "...easy to love, hate, and respect," and are a major reason for the series' popularity. The immense pride of Vegeta, and how that can be a fatal flaw, especially shines through, as do the freewheeling spirits of Goten and Trunks, the naivete of Boo and Mr. Satan's attention-loving, glory-hound nature, while number 18 shows an unexpectedly cunning side. On the downside, Vital is entirely too underused to make much of an impact and Bulma loses something just sitting around acting like a worried mother, wife. He also praised the themes from the Warriors, saying they speak to "...basic yet powerful themes like faith, confidence, heroism, sacrifice, love, and understanding what is truly worth fighting for," and the ways they react while fighting, although the fights can sometimes become very long with little plot development. He criticized how the series overused the plot device of having characters "...grow seemingly untouchably powerful, only to be put out when eventually upstaged." In a review of Dragon Ball GT, Jeffrey Harris of IGN commented that the material and characters had lost their novelty and fun, and also criticized the character designs of Trunks and Vegeta as being goofy. See also Dragon Ball <laughs>